Uh, welcome everyone. Hopefully everything's working okay. You're here? Okay, I think I am here. I literally got through my front door about, I think, less than five minutes ago. So, um, it, it was close. <laughs> okay, it is working. Welcome everyone. We're gonna... Okay, that might be a bit loud. Let me turn that down for you. I, I haven't had too much time to get everything set up. So, uh, things may be a little bit scuffed a minute while I load into the game and, uh, finish getting things set up. Hope you're all doing good and hope you're all excited to see some, uh, live Victoria 3. What we'll do as well, I obviously had the music off. We're gonna start, I think, as two Sicilies. It's a decent start. And, uh, hopefully we can, um, experience quite a few different uh, mechanics. Let me get the music on. The music's great for this game as well, by the way. I'll put it on quite quiet. Don't want it too loud once it does start. Let me know about the audio, though, for the game. If it's too quiet, too loud, let me know, please. Usually I'm more organized than this. Seems fine. Okay, great. Thank you. I live inside your walls for a name. Welcome, welcome. Train simulator. Yes, do we have trains? We gotta have some trains, right? Where are our trains? Do you not have trains? Do you even have train tracks? I know if you go to the UK, there's always trains cutting it about. Please, lots of trains. Let's play Russia next and try to keep the monarchy in charge. South Italy. Yeah, but two CSLEs is a decent start. Now. I haven't actually tried if you sue for bankruptcy. I haven't actually done bankruptcy, but I think you just get a bunch of negative effects. Like if you go here, we get this. Yeah, you get all these basically effects for 10 years. And pause. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I can't see any train tracks here. Like, I know in London, you see the train tracks. I think we might just have horse and carriages. Which, you know, is great. Yeah, I, I agree, man. The music is absolutely fantastic. I actually, maybe someone knows. I don't know why it is called um, Two Sicilies. CK2 and CK3 are the only Paradox games. It's pretty similar for me, to be honest. And welcome back, Lemon. Hope you're doing good. Uh, what is the meme? Quick. Yeah, I don't know why. Known train tracks. We're, st we're stuck in uh, the horse and carriage days. True, I should have train tracks. Should I check? I probably should. Oh, we haven't even unlocked railways. All right, then. We probably should get that. So we'll get the lathe. Uh, this is going to give us stuff for our dye workshop. Yeah, we'll get the lathe and then me uh, mechanical tools and then we can unlock railways. Sicily is Sicily 1, Italy is Sicily 2 maybe. Yeah, I have no idea to me. I never really thought about it. I'm so excited about this game. What makes me doubt is it uh, feels like GDP race. Yeah, GDP is uh, probably the most important thing really, right? So we're 14th in the world. I was having some issues last night with this. So hopefully... It's fixed. It's fixed. Okay. So I can do the proper way. Because the Kingdom of Naples was officially known as the Kingdom of Sicily. So when he united with the Kingdom of Sicily, it became two Sicilies. Oh, that makes sense. Thank you. No sound. I'll turn it up a bit. I said that industrialize. Yeah, well, hopefully we get some industrialization done. Um, our stuff seems to be struggling. We're missing... Paper. Uh, that's fine. We, we can go without paper, right? You can form Rome. I'm sure you could, I guess. We'll have some stuff in our journal pop up. So these are like challenges you could do. So we got all of these right. And uh, they got to do it for 30 years. And then it triggers the event official nationality. There's other ones that will pop up in the future. How long does a tech tree last? I haven't played all the way to the game end, so I don't know how long it takes to get all the way through, but they're quite big. This is the production one. So right at the bottom, 
We've got quite a few things. Then we have the military one. We've only unlocked up to there. So it'll probably go on for quite a while. Mobile armor. So it's like tanks. Battle fleet. And then we have society. Which is, yeah, it's more changes like your governments and laws and stuff. I've never really delved too much into the society tree. Production, honestly, is where it's at. Like once you get electricity, which is there. Like, your stuff is amazing. How bad is the AI? I don't see. I think it's all right, to be fair. Obviously, I did notice, well, when I recorded my video, which went out yesterday, um, I didn't even realize, but I was um, trying to colonize or puppet Brazil, and my general died and the whole army left. But while I was recording, I, it didn't even register that that's a problem. But apparently, it is a bug, which may be fixed in this version. So obviously, I was playing on a slightly earlier version. That GDP, though, yeah, we got 7.3 million. We're 14th worldwide. And power rating, we're 11th. So we're, we're decent. There's supposed to be enough tech until 1936, right? I'd imagine so, probably. Well, I know uh, a lot of stuff in Africa. Anything that's white, you, like, can't play as. So there's some in America as well, but you can colonize these guys. Customized troops. Yeah, if you go to your military and then you bring this down, you can like change like what they use. You can have like squad infantry later in the game. Could get them to use siege artillery. Um, let's get back to them. So yeah, you can kind of customize what they use. But the more you grow up, the better they typically are, but they will cost more like resources. Is that an Australian accent? I, I am Welsh. So yeah, I'm from Wales. What was the point without trains? I know, how dare they? Stardust without trains. Does combat feel too easy? To me, I think it feels tougher than a lot of other games, mainly because you don't have direct control. So, like, you can... When we go to war now, we can start mobilizing these guys. And then we set them to the front. But no, we can't move around, like, certain troops to the back and siege certain things. So in a way, I guess it could be more difficult. Ew, Welsh. That's fucking rude. But yeah, I don't know. For me personally, I actually don't mind the new battle system because it lets me focus on the economy side. But yeah, still, I only have about 30 odd, maybe 40-ish hours on the game. So I'm no expert. So I'm still learning. Some of you who watch like all the dev blogs and that may know uh, more. Yeah, Australia does have New South Wales. So you know what? We'll take it. But let's see our buildings. We have food industries. We have three of them. Textile mills, furniture manufacturers, glass works, tooling work uh, workshops, shipyards, arms industries, urban centers. You know, government administrations basically give you bureaucracy, as you can see up here. And we also have some trade centers. I feel like combat in uh, Victoria Street is way too cl is way closer to realism. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because you, you're. I think in Victoria Three, you don't really play as the leader anyway. Like we're not him, because I think we're just like the country. So like when like an uprising happens. We have an option to switch sides. So if you wanted like a certain government, we could uh, basically make that these, uh, where are they? Let me find them for you. So we can make these guys really mad. They form like a revolution and then we could switch sides and play as them. So you don't really play as a leader. You just kind of play as a nation. You can kind of take it wherever you want. A great point about not having direct control. I don't know why, Vicky, if you felt different in the games, but yeah, you just don't have control. Like, you still, it's still fairly like micromanage heavy when you gotta keep assigning them and defending fronts. Heavier on the graphics. Um, I don't really know. I haven't really noticed much of a performance difference, personally. Is there no sound? I've had a couple of people. Like, the game sound. Let me check. Should be there. I can turn it up a tad. Dislike about the game. Uh, right now, I kind of got the economy. I understand the economy. The government system fully still confuses me a little bit. Whereas, like, say now, 
a certain party wins, we don't have to make them a part of our government. So that's something I'm still not 100% on, if you know what I mean. Uh, personally, yeah, I do like actually like the warfare mechanics. Before I played it, I wasn't sure, but since playing it, I've enjoyed it, to be honest. So yeah, we are hopefully reforming Italy, or mostly today. We'll, we'll see. Never tried it before. So if it does go horribly wrong, I apologize. There's someone you can but no music just yet. Oh, I can hear the music. Maybe I'll turn the music up for you guys. Hopefully that's better. Maybe the music was just too quiet. Do you like the game so far? Uh, yes, honestly. I wasn't really expecting to. But I actually have had a great time playing it. Let me just unpause a minute. See if any of these need to change. So we're not making enough grain. That's a problem. We're not doing too bad on clothes and furniture. We've got plenty of tools, plenty of wood. Um, how many... Uh, I need to play to learn the game properly. Honestly, the tutorial, and I'm not just saying this, the tutorial in this game is probably the best out of any PDX game. So you click a, a, a tutorial nation, and in this journal, it'll like tell you what to do. You have options under here, and you can click tell me why or tell me how. So it might say, oh yeah, you need to bring your GDP to this number. So you click tell me why, and it'll actually explain why having a bigger GDP is important. Then you click tell me how, and it'll explain how to actually do it. So um, tutorial-wise, I think it's pretty good. Bugs. Uh, the worst bug I had, which wasn't, I guess, that big, was, you know, notifications that pop up. Um, something happened to my military, and the notifications, like, wouldn't leave the top. So, honestly, not too bad, but... I haven't delved insanely into this game just yet. I've never played Vicky 2. And I've tried getting into EU4 and I found this game easier to get into. Mainly because, yeah, like I said about that tutorial. Uh, I think the tutorial is actually really good. I haven't actually played Victoria 2, so it's hard to say. So I am kind of going into this fresh. So that may sway my opinion. Um... A bit. Sorry about that. Let me just... I was I was watching my stream and it was kind of... I could hear it and it was... Uh, can I look at Jan... Another guy, um... Spiffing Blip played as. Is it these guys? I think. So I've seen uh, Spiffin's video. Which bug I've seen where Chechia broke free and they were called Czech culture instead of Chechia or Bohemia. Yeah, I haven't experienced too much crazy stuff. One more question, if you allow, what would you say that would be focused on the first? Uh, first, I don't really know what they're going to do. I don't really know what to expect either. Um, obviously, I'll keep playing this game over the next few weeks and I'll probably get more of an idea. But right now, I'm still learning it, so it's hard for me to say. Take that PV, yeah, just there. Uh, why did you choose two Sicilies? I just thought it could be uh, fun, but not impossibly difficult. Whereas if I started as this, say if I started as Palmer, I'd probably achieve nothing today. Yeah, graphically, the game's fantastic. I've seen any more global wars. I've played myself, and I did see some other bigger ones with a lot of, it's mainly Europe, I see a lot of wars in. Yeah, he uh, spawned uh, Karl Marx as well, didn't he? <laughs> I didn't even know that was in the game. Are you pro-train? Always pro-train. We must... Uh, we will get trains. So that's the first thing we're going to work towards. Because if we don't have railways... Our infrastructure is probably not very great. So if we build too much before we get railways, we may be in trouble. Uh, does the mark integration feel realistic? I think it's 
fine. It works well. Obviously, in our market right now today, I'll be in the Sicilian market, so it's only us. But we could obviously invite people to join our customs union or ask to join other ones. And it works then as like a closed market, which works quite well. Obviously, unless you import from like cheaper countries and that. Uh, planning to go revolutionary with this unification for some historicality. Maybe. I, I, who knows? <laughs> who knows? Is this game laggy at all? Uh, I haven't experienced much, but I haven't gone into like the 1900s yet. So maybe when you get to like the 1900s, it may. Snap's big list of stuff to do. I know. And lovely accent, buddy. Thank you, man. Imperator Napoleon. Never knew that. Yeah, it's... Um, ooh. Who is the leader? Yeah, this uh, Duchess Maria von Hasburg. Probably again, Titan Tales. I haven't played like hundreds of hours, obviously, yet. I uh, got the game like... Uh, ages ago so i'm still learning so I, it's probably too early for me to say if something feels too lacking you know but i'm sure once i play this game for like another month or two or maybe i'll make a video and uh i'll get more experience then i'll have better opinions yeah portugal is blue apparently there was that uh, the flag it goes with Unification of Germany. I've never played in Germany. It just intimidates me. <laughs> you know? Right, we gotta start off. We need to make money, right? But... The Papal States, they... We could destroy them in a war, I think. And pause. Yeah, we'll let it go on one for now. Check on market. Uh, let's make sure we have the basics. Uh, love your secrets. Thank you very much, Witcher. I do appreciate it. The whole war system I've enjoyed, to be honest. I think it's, it works quite well for Victoria 3, but I can understand like if you really want the typical Paradox war system, you may not enjoy it. This is early access. Yeah, uh, obviously, because I made a video for it yesterday. We're out to stream today. And then, of course, the game does release tomorrow. Let's see. We, we, we need to uh, fix our grain situation, to be honest. We want to produce more grain than we use. So let's see. Wheat farms. Yeah, we'll upgrade them a little bit. But then if we go to our buildings, look. Any technology we do unlock, we can click here and we can upgrade them, basically. Because he just started and I don't know what, what, what we have, what we don't. You need to get some wheat on the go, definitely, so um, people can uh, be happy. Can take over Jan May and maybe, maybe we will do that later. It's a way away though. Well, right now they're actually part of Norway, so I don't know if that'll be possible anytime soon. Export the Pope. Yeah, we just, uh, how many troops do we have? We have, that's not us, that's them. 50 and 21 conscriptions. They got 5 plus 41, so we could probably beat them. But say if we did go to war, go to diplomatic plays and then click conquer state. Britain, Russia, France, Austria, Spain may all fight against us. Paper, liquor, and grain. Yeah, we definitely saw uh, paper out as well, for sure. Uh, are those options when you click the industrial is mutually exclusive? Which ones now? Like, um, do you mean when you click these? So yeah, some unlocks will, in the technology tree, someone will un unlock a new technology for a bunch of different things. We haven't really got great technology yet. Peace deals. Once you do a clear war, you can select a certain amount of war goals. The ones they're selected, you can like, maybe end the war earlier by only taking some of them. And stuff like that. How many hours left? Well, it's about 24 hours, right? I think it's this time tomorrow. It will release. 
I don't know if there is a way to fully just demand. You can conquer state, and um, if you're way more powerful than them, they might just give it up to you. They'll give their primary war goal. So what we're going to do, go to this guy, and we're going to damage relations. Should we get this first? We'll take these islands for Italy as well. We'll kind of go this way, and we'll take the circle around here. We'll take this island first, because it may be a bit easier. Get us started on the war, and hopefully, yeah, we can get it done quite quick. So we'll begin damaging relations, and we need it to go below Cardinal. And once it's below that, we can uh, start a diplomatic play to take a state. By the way, just of interest, how long do you need to... I think around 25 hours-ish, some stuff started to click for me. It's been hard mode. I think I'm on the normal um, game rules. I think everything's typical. Nothing too much changed. You have tactics in warfare. Not that I've experienced. Obviously, your main... Like, stuff you can change in warfare is the type of units you unlock. Uh, cavalry up to low. Proper mobilized renaissance. Uh, renaissance. First aid stuff and stuff like that. But, of course, upgrading your military will cost more resources. I was only playing in one speed because I haven't properly started. But now we're damaging relations. We can start picking up the speed. And we're going to take this, I hope. Can you rename states? I've never actually tried. Can you? Maybe? Maybe not. Uh, I've never actually tried to do that. Not that I can see, but maybe you could. I don't know. A uh, 2.6 hours in tutorial. I, still, I haven't left the tutorial. Yes. This is a sick soundtrack. The soundtrack in Victoria 3 is amazing. Do you need the nationalism tech to form Italy or is it doable from the start? I haven't tried it yet. So we'll see. We're just going to expand, take some land. We'll take these islands uh, first, maybe. Not this one because it belongs to France. But yeah, we'll take this and then we'll start moving up. Maybe take the Papal States. You can't rename states. There we are. Yeah, I honestly didn't follow the development too much. Only because when I do that, it kind of kills my hype for a game. You know? So yeah, I didn't really follow it too much early on. But yeah, we need this to drop. Once this bar drops, it'll go down one. We need to get it to blow cardinal. You need nationalism. Right, okay, thank you. We'll make sure we get that then. But first, we're going to at least get railways. I think, right? Your war goal to form Italy. Yeah, what we're going to do starting off... Is if we go to diplomatic lens, diplomatic plays, conquer state. We're going to do it on these guys, but... They need to like us a bit less. Now, let's get friends with Britain. We'll improve relations with Britain and maybe Russia. Just in case they do get involved. And Austria. We can't do any more. So, we're improving relations with Russia and Great Britain. It's the grave one. Hope you're doing well, man. I should need to launch unification play. Yeah, hopefully it goes well. I haven't tried it yet. But I thought uh, it could be interesting. Yo, the grave one become a count. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Is this game even good? I'm enjoying it. Obviously, it does come out tomorrow. So um, I think it's tomorrow, right? Grave one is based. He is, honestly. He does make good videos as well. If you are interested, definitely check out his channel. And before World War One, over something here, yeah, everyone just starts getting involved. Look, it's quite crazy. If we do this, look who might get involved. <coughs> I'll be back in a little bit. All right, nice man. I do appreciate it. Yeah, as you can see, Britain, Russia, France, Prussia, Austria, Sweden, Spain, and the rest. It's around 24 hours. Yeah, it should release about the time this stream started tomorrow. I think. But you know what? We're just going to go for the war and hope we win. 
Have fun enjoying the game. I will, man. Thank you. I do appreciate it. Yeah, if it ends up in World War, then that may be a problem. We'll five-speed it for now. Cordial, not cordial. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Cordial, true. <laughs> Quite a few people have mod, the victory map. Oh, yeah, they did it with Imperator as well, and it's probably like the best mod. Like one of the best graphical mods. Yeah, I'll check the Steam page earlier. Like, nice. Thoughts about the wall system? Uh, I, I've enjoyed it, to be honest. But hopefully, this does work. We're going to take this island first, right? See how it goes. We just need our relations to drop a little bit. Hopefully, maybe 19 might work. Under the Ottomans. Um, are they? Let's see. Uh, yeah, they are. They're a subject of the Ottoman Empire. We're neutral now. So now we're neutral. We're going to keep improving relations with Britain and Russia a little bit more. Uh, just to try and stop them joining on their side. Because if they join on their side, we're in trouble. But let's unlock mechanical tools. So that uh, helps with our furniture manufacturing, tooling workshops, stuff like that. And then we can pick up railways. Is this uh, Europa Universalis? Almost. But no, I think uh, graphically this game is insane. Just so nice. I love around London area as well with all the trains. Oh, that one did just vanish. Yeah, I'm going to hope... I'm going to build up some construction sectors next, I think. I wanted to fix the grain problem, although it doesn't seem to have helped. Which is great. Yeah, we'll probably do some construction sectors next. Probably in our capital, right? Let's see. All right, the bottom construction sectors. We'll build three more and see how expensive that is to build. Do you think you're doing any multiplayer games? I want to do some multiplayer for Vic 3, definitely. Without Jambe and there is no Italy, yes. What I've seen the walk was really cool. Yeah, I think it works for the game. Maybe in any other PDX game, it wouldn't work. Yeah, graphically, I think the game's fantastic. And it has an unlimited map, yes, but yeah, we'll go back to the right one. Does just loop forever, I think. Right. Maybe we'll get them up to Cordonal. And then maybe we can persuade these guys to join on our side. Is this game fun? I mean, I've had fun. So hopefully... You, know, you guys do as well. Uh, I'm not chilling in any way. If I didn't like it, I'd honestly tell you. Oh, we built them construction sectors already. I think. We'll build some more. Let's see, we're in, we'll build them all up in our capital for now. In Naples. Thomas the train rails. Honestly, it'll, prob it'll probably happen surprisingly fast, right? Well, hello there, King George V. Hope you're doing good. Uh, your gold reserves, they are. They aren't even locked yet. Yeah, we got one. What's our max? Oh, yeah, true. Our max is only 1.5. So, yeah. Let's get a bunch of construction built then. And then we can worry about making money. But the UK kind of like us now, which is good. Try and retake Carthage. That could be a shout. This is a question you haven't heard, but is this game fun? Well, there's a brand new question. Um, but yeah, honestly, I'm at, I've had a decent time with the game. I'm not going to lie. Let's see. What should we build? Like some of you guys who've like full on kept up with development, watched all the dev streams, probably know more about this game than me. I'm not going to lie. So hyped for this game. Yeah, for sure. I hope it does well. I seen it was like trending number eight on Steam yesterday, which is pretty good. What should we make? Let's have a look. Go to our market. Are we lacking in anything important? Maybe more clothes and furniture? How about groceries? 
Um, could build more groceries. You know what? We'll, no, we'll do clothes and furniture first. So if we go to our capital, do we have any? Textile mills. All right, we'll upgrade them a bit. We need paper, actually. So we'll build a paper mills first. Try and fix the paper problem. Then if we go to building and construction, we can bring the paper mills right to the top. Uh, do countries ever scramble for Africa? I've seen a lot of uh, countries will start colonizing quite fast. If you hover over this, you can see, yeah, United States of America, Great Britain. Yeah, they, they will get colonized quite fast. Skedaddle in Africa, yes. The real challenge for someone to, yeah, can't get Ethiopia. Cursed. Do I have any construction bonuses? You see it... What do we see? We do see it right on the actual states right there. So down here we've got sulfur deposits. And I think this basically is their efficiency. So yeah, we've got sul uh, sulfur down there. We also have agriculture. Seems to be it for us. What's this? Uh... Plus 15 infrastructure. That's not a bad one, actually. When you play on Victor Africa, it just goes for you to take anything. We colonize countries now. Who do you think I should? I'm, I'm up for colonizing Africa. Could I? Could declare interests. Maybe not there. Let's declare interests. There's some right there, right? Can we? There's no valid targets. Why? I should be able to right here, right? I may be missing something. I thought I could colonize these. Maybe I haven't unlocked the tech or something yet. Okay, we're building paper mills as well. We're just going to get Russia to like us a bit more. If we can get on Great Britain's good side. Ooh. Do we join... The British market. What do you guys think? Any difference between puppet, dominion, and colony? Right, okay. So. A colony. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. It will say. So I know when you go. Right, let's go up here. And where is it? I always struggle to find this page. Is it this page? We don't even have it. We need to unlock the tech. But, and then you go to laws, and there's like a colonized law somewhere. And you can... Oh, there we are. These two. So you can either use uh, colonies to resettle your people to move there. Or you can just exploit them for their resources. So you can do that in the laws here. But right now, we have no uh, affairs with that kind of stuff. And then we have dominions, which to me are just worse puppets. I think they only pay 10%. Yeah. So Dominions pay 10% of their treasury each week, but Puppets pay 20. So I'm not really sure if there's a benefit to Dominions other than Puppets. Um, yes, I see some people say yes. So let's join the British market then. So join Custom Union. And they'll like us more. Oh God, uh, there's a bot. Be gone. Yeah, they're gone. Thank you, uh, Lily. I do appreciate that very much. Yeah, bot be gone. You know what, Lemon? I'm going to make you a mod. I trust you. You were in my last two streams, so... If you feel like removing one of them bots in your year, I'd appreciate that. Um, yo, Bold Eagle. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, X Skull NL. I appreciate that very much. Very kind of you. Hopefully. Of course, thank you very much. Uh, we have no uh, colonization laws enacted, so that's why we can't. Yeah, didn't realize that. Probably less resistance. True, I've never actually had resistance from puppets, though. So I don't know. I've never experienced that. Maybe they do. Maybe I've been lucky. 
So now if we do this, will Britain still want to go against me? Yeah. Should we just start it? Does this game have Welsh? They should do, because I think you can make the Welsh independent. Like, if you play as Great Britain, you can, like, give them their independence. So they should have... Yeah, Welsh. So that's definitely something I will do one day. Um, give the Welsh their independence and play as them. Tech Journal for... Let's urbanize. We will work our way towards that. <laughs> Is there a thing in here for... I don't really have it come up just yet. But yeah, right now, we'll just focus on getting land. Right. Long live lemon. Yes. Uh, just on your YouTube channel. I enjoy your content. Keep it up. Thank you very much. And of course, I do appreciate you becoming a member. It means a lot to me. And I still, yeah, I don't know everything about this game, guys. So I'll try and answer any questions. And try and do the best I can. But I'm still very much learning. Um... I'll probably be learning for a little while. You know, I'll I'll do some videos in the future when I know a bit more as well. We could start the Conquer State, but Britain might remain neutral. How about... Hmm. We've unlocked banking. Diplomacy seems, seems less complex this game. Yeah, I've never played uh, Victoria 2, so it's hard for me to say. I never went and played it. So I wonder what relation we need to have for them not to join their side or consider it. You tell me all of the code, yes. I'll just copy and paste the code on Discord, you grave. <laughs> I had that email earlier, Grave, and I seen your name was in it. But uh, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I know you're a part of it, it seems to be. What country pisses you off the most? They have everything. Even though I played as them, they have everything. How are you playing the game right now? I think they give some people slightly early access. So obviously I did put a video out yesterday if you haven't seen it. You're not playing Iron Man, so uh, save scum. Obviously, you always got to save scum. Nah, um, it's maybe just in case maybe there is a bug. I can always revert, right? Well, I've never actually played Stellar, uh, Stellaris, but I've seen a lot of people say it's quite similar. I don't know in what way. I've seen that floating about. So, yeah, that's interesting. I've been wanting to play Stellaris, but I've never actually gone around to do it. Norway is, uh, yeah, Norway is still absolutely chilling with uh, Spiffing Brit Island. Enjoy the King of Greece. Yes, I can. So, King Otto von Wittelsbach, right? Is interest group landowners. I hate Norway. We stand Norway. Even though they share a king, right? So yeah, they kind of like us now. Maybe they won't step in. We're just going to go for it. Let's just start here. We're losing money, but it's not too much. It's a living hell to learn. Yeah, that's what I feared. I love how you pronounce Stellaris. Stel I don't know if it's Stellaris or Stellaris. <laughs> I'm not sure. Or paint the galaxy. This is sick. Very much paint the map game. The German Greek on the throne. Nice. Yeah, I've been meaning to get into it. But, um, you know, I I haven't got around to it just yet. That island's, yeah, that island's going to be a meme. You absolutely mean that island, right? Smart what he did, though. It makes a lot of sense. Why is it? Oh, that's all of Norway, is it? I want to see the island. Just northern Norway. I can't see the just island. Venice is gone. Now uh, we're blessed with uh, these guys, which we are fighting next. I think they own both of them. Still RS. Right, nice. Thank you. Let's just go for it. Let's just start it. See what happens. Maybe it'll go terribly wrong. Maybe it won't. Let's go. Oh, we can sway Great Britain. Yes, 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 yes. We may be able to sway Austria. Spain. They got... Greece. Victor Jamain could be governed by peers. Wait, what? 
Yeah, I've never played Vic 2. Yeah, um, from what you've seen, I'm interested to hear some of your guys' thought on the war system. What do you think about it? Like me personally, I think it fits the game, but I want to know what you guys think. Yeah, that small island is what well, Spiffing Brit in a video on. <laughs> Uh, can you pass some consumption taxi extra? Yeah, we could go to budget and we go here so we can pass like... Yeah, should we do that? 9,000 extra a month for 500 authority? Yeah, okay, we're going to do that. We're not losing so much money now. What we need to do now is go to military. And we have... We want to get one more naval guy so we can do two invasions at the same time. So go to our navy, recruit admiral in uh, Italy HQ. We've got this guy who's cruel, more kill rate, devastation, or oh, ambitious, more offense. You know what, kill rate just sounds fun. I think we're overreacting the war mechanics. Yeah, um... I think it fits, although I can understand I, I haven't tried it in multiplayer, but I know there has been some videos I haven't got around to watching yet. But hopefully we'll see some war now. Uh, what we're going to do, go to our garrison, we'll activate the conscripts. And then we're going to mobilize all our generals. There we are. We'll get them to mobilize and chill a minute because we are about to break out into war. I think they'll remove most of the micro from the war if it fits the theme of the game. Yeah, that's actually a good point, Brent. Yeah, so you can't just control the armies and beat the AI. You actually need to focus on the economy, right? T-tax, let's see what happens. Yes. <laughs> Offer obligations to Britain so they can join us. Come on, Britain. Please, guys. Yes. Ooh, and Spain. Oh, we've got this, boys. Look at this. And you, guys. And you. Yes, let's get all the people on our side. Uh, it's going to cost us obligations, but you know what? Why can't we convince Russia? We need Russia. Ooh, they've got France. Ooh, why can't we offer anyone else then? You need at least... Okay, so that's ended. So, the teams are... Us, Britain, Spain, and Austria versus Sardinia and France. Because the people see when you edge cuts. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Brent. To be fair, I'm not sure if I like the warfare and the victory because it doesn't seem as high forward. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's definitely different. Right, so war is breaking out. Hopefully, we can win this. War with Sardinia has broken out. The conquer state play in Italy has resulted in a war between you and Sardinia. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our generals, right? So, and to do this, we need to go to your admirals. Naval invasion. Right, but clear... Mo right, okay, there we are. Naval invasion there. And our second admiral to also do a naval invasion right there. Oh, he forgot. Wait, did I forget something? I don't know about me. Can you demand war reparations? I only didn't. Is it worth it? Oh, I actually probably should have. I did, I've completely forgot they have more land outside of this. I thought I was just going to conquer all their land. But yeah, I didn't get war reparations, although I probably should have. <clears throat> Bless you. Uh, I'm just jamming out to the music. I'm not going to lie. The music's insane, right? Ba -bum. Right, let's go. They're going to arrive in 44 days. Oh my god, guys. Stop. No. Well, oh, they're gone. <clears throat> uh, you forgot war goals. Yeah, I did forget to add uh, war reparations. Wait, what? I am just going to conquer. I'm going to conquer the island though, right? So I don't mind too much. It's fine. We'll, we'll remember next time. Damn bots, yeah. <laughs> and I was wrong, I thought it was against the Papal State. Oh yeah, fair. We're going to get this first, and then I think we'll go for them. Uh, we can stop damaging relations now. We don't need to. 
Yeah, French Navy. Yeah, we got the British Navy, so I think we're good, right? Let's see. How far away? 27 days. Let's go. Any minor nations? Well, I do want to play as Wales. Yeah, I am Welsh, but you can release Wales from Great Britain and play as them. So that is something I want to do one day. Maybe that'll be my next video on Vic 3. Ooh, look at this. We have 61 units. They have five. They have more defense than we have offense, but... But really, what other goals do you have in mind? I want to absolutely skyrocket our GDP while forming Italy, to be honest. I want to become number one, all right? I think that's always got to be the goal. Hi, Angelus, man. I hope you're doing good. Welcome, welcome. We can't get this because we need atmospheric engine and then we can get railways finally. I timed out for you in a second. Thank you. Yeah, if that happens again, what you can do is you right click or wherever on them, the dots. And you just click hide user from channel and then they're basically done. Both the allies armies got wrecked by AI. Oh my god, France. Okay, France have shown up. Click on this. We can see uh, the battles going on. So this is one right now. Because like you have all your troops here and they split off and do battles. We are winning this one. Great Britain is here, look. Winning that warp there for us, that battle. And then we'll take some land. And then once we occupy their land, they'll start to struggle. Now, to get it to go be uh, below zero, I think you need to have their capital or the war target. And then you can get their war support to go into the negatives. Minus 100, they give up everything. <clears throat> No effort needed. Yeah, this one's a much easier war because we only need to take this island. Um, it's not too bad, this one. Oh, our allies are winning up here as well. We, of course, have Austria winning a fight up here. Snap, for making me more, I shall give you some information to take over. Yeah, man, you get hold of dragons. Yes. We're going to... Uh, Steal all the dragons. Now, Spain and France are fighting on their borders, which is good because they're distracted. Now, French, now the French ain't sending all of their units over here. Why have my guys stopped? Where are they? Wait, we loot? Not a war. Wait, war? What is going on? Naval invasion. Apparently, I'm not at war. this mean? How am I not at war with them? Alright, well, we're just gonna keep fighting then and see what happens. Advance front. Um, we'll get them to advance up here then. I don't know if this is a bug. I got it. Oh, it's... So I've got it, but it's saying we're not at war. Maybe that's the problem. Or maybe it should say then we've already occupied it, because right now, look, if we go to do it, it's basically saying we're not at war. Okay, we've occupied the full island, so we're going to keep moving then easy. Their war score will drop then. We might not need to do anything else. Yeah, okay. All right, so maybe that's something they should change. Maybe say it's occupied. Because, uh, yeah. We might as well get them to advance this front then. So we click advance front right there. And they're going to take what? How many days? Nine days. And hopefully they can flip this battle to our side. Uh, let's see. We got 44 versus 26. We should win that battle, right? We're going to lose. Oh, my God. We're... Okay, we should win that. Losing money fast. Yeah, we've got about 100k left. Do you think I should maybe just... I will lower our government wages as well. And our military wages. Probably cut past another consumption tax. So, like, that for 200 and we can start gaining money again. Um, when we will see the Fallen Eagle playthrough, hopefully soon. I just got a few things to do uh, with Vic. But yeah, we'll get back to um, more CK3 stuff soon.
Let's see where it is. So we're finally unlocking railways as well. Yeah, look, they're uh, going negative now. Look, because if we hover over there, so we can see base DK uh, minus two uh, because they are 20.5% occupied and we control 100% of our war targets. So they will just drop now fast. Debt is just a number. Yes. <laughs> Tell that to all the starving people. That's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Naval blockades. What we can do is we can um, get them to raid convoys. So like if we're at war with these guys, we can raid them there. So any of their ships that pass through, we can raid or whatever. We can also do escort. And uh, there is patrol coast. So we can get them to like, patrol their coast, our coast or whatever, and destroy any ships that come through. So, like, if they're trying to do a naval invasion and you've got a bunch of people patrolling that coast, you should be able to, yeah, blockade. But I don't know if you can blockade. Think for blockading trade, you want to do um, raid convoys. Uh, see the occupied regions there, they are light reds. Yeah, okay, so that, that's, we got these. We've unlocked got both of them islands. What is this? Losing power rank. In 350 days, we will uh, go from a major to a minor power. All right then, great. Game's not happy about the war, but we're about to win. There we are. We conquered Sardinia. Let's keep improving relations with you guys, please. Oh, they love us. All right then, they love us. We're improving nation, uh, relations with Russia as well. Make trains arrive on time. Yeah, hopefully we should get trains pretty soon. We're still at war with France because they want to humiliate Great Britain. So yeah, if there's like other war goals in a war, the war will can carry on basically. So yeah, we can get them to advance front. Get them to just fully all just pile in right there. Sardinia, yes, we have unlocked Sardinia. They're probably not incorporated. So they don't pay like tax and that. Now dragons, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we did get Sardinia, which is nice. We're going to lose power rank, but you know what? Who cares, I guess. Who doesn't want to humiliate Great Britain? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They are losing though, which is good. We should be all right to win this. But they're there now. We're still losing. France are just built different, it seems. You're just taking that music, right? Can you conquer North Africa? We, I think we could. We'd have to maybe uh, remove relations and stuff like that. We could move down into Africa if we wanted to. Uh, is there still gold or something? I don't know if it actually is to be here. What have they got? But I know they have coal, lead, iron, sulfur. But some materials like gold or whatever may only sometimes be discovered later. Like there's a random chance to discover gold and that in areas. I don't know. How could we incorporate them? How much is it going to cost? 29? Okay, let's do that then. We're going to incorporate Sardinia. Yeah, definitely Greg. So yeah, basically France, yeah, like you said, yeah, they want to carry on and they still want to get their war goal. So they, they're going to keep fighting. They're like, no. Propose peace deal. So France are ready to accept peace and just give up on that war goal. There we are. So that war is over. Now we did get Sardinia. I swear YouTube has the weirdest emotes. Yeah, they're probably weird, isn't they? They're just the most random stuff like... Like, I think it's a dab, but I think it says you got this or something. Probably weird, right? Yes, we did successfully get Sardinia. Now we've got more stuff we can build. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, that's, that's a great showing. <laughs> um, 
The game did crash. <laughs> oh no. Well, that's great. Uh, it's loading back up. Shouldn't take too long. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. I don't know. What have I done? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> yeah, it did crash. Uh which is great. GG. <laughs> Look, taking Sardinia was too powerful. World box time. We can't go there again. Premium content. This is what we came here for, right? For a moment. <laughs> Hello, I'm in the dark. I can't see. It's not great, is it? <laughs> My first snap stream, love it, yes. Thank you, Victor. It's also probably the most scuffed. Hopefully you can see the game now. Uh, it's kind of loading. Game just on a loading screen. Hopefully we'll be back. <laughs> we'll, we'll click continue. We'll see how it goes. I, I Obviously, I am still on... I think there is going to be a patch coming out or something, I think. Maybe. So I am on an earlier patch. How do you get YouTube emotes? There's like a emote button right under the chat. Victoria two time. Oh no, we're back in war with France. Great, but that should end anytime soon. We've lost a few months, but it's fine. Let's just let that war end. And the jamming music is back. So yeah, we're uh, just going to let this war finish again. Oh, okay. They haven't... Are our guys there? Yeah, they should be. Well, for building stuff... Now we have loads of grain. Oh, we joined the British market, right? So, if we produce a lot of furniture, they're very much in need. So producing furniture could be worth it, actually. I'm going to focus on that. So let's go to our capital and go to buildings. Do we have one yet? I think we do have one somewhere. Furniture. So this is over here. Let's build a few more of these. So we could probably make decent money on them. Build eight. So we have a level 10 one. <clears throat> let's go emote spam. <laughs> um, oh. Uh, thank you, Daniel. Uh, let's check. Oh, they are being incorporated. Yeah. So 20 months left. <clears throat> Didn't revert back. No, I just reverted just before the war ended with France, apparently. What is that? What the fuck is that? I've never noticed that before. What does that mean? Does anybody know? Um, what is this? Excuse me? <clears throat> Let's go. Make peace, they'll accept that. So let's propose peace deal. What does that fire mean? I think it's just when there's a war there, there's devastation. So there's been fight in there. So less people are going to want to migrate there. There's um, more people die there and there's less infrastructure. You're the one who locks. What do you mean? I have no idea what you mean. The British people are coming, yes. The game is haunted. <laughs> but, 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 we're making furniture. That's what we're going to go to. Because furniture is in high demand in the British market. So, let's pump out some furniture, right? The emojis, yeah. I don't know what the f that was. I've never noticed that before. So yeah, furniture, I think, might be a good way to go for us. We're building up our cash reserves. Still only a max of 1.6 mil. Uh, we're researching railways, I think. So, you know, we can get the trains going. Which is always good. Emoji stopped having a purpose a long, long time ago. It's crazy on uh, Twitch. Like, I know on Twitch especially, it's like people can have full conversations with just emojis. Obviously, YouTube doesn't really have that. Greece independent. Yeah, Greece are... Do they, are they... Let's see. Yeah, they're an insignificant power. So they're chilling. 
Uh, my throat. I don't know what's wrong with my throat. I think I'm uh, on my way out, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see. We're incorporating these guys as well. 13 months there. Zoom in on the trains. I think I'll have to go over here to see the actual trains. We haven't even got them yet. Oh. So, Russia want us to leave the British market and go to the Russian one. I imagine that's a bad idea, right? British market's probably the best. But yes, trains. And there's like carriages and stuff. It's quite cool, the map. Gotta be honest. I'm going to decline that. Emoticons, yeah, I remember people calling that. It's just like you type them, right? You'd have to like put the smiley face and stuff like that. You know, I'm not Tunis should be. Yeah, I could go there to be fair. That's my old man moment of the stream. Let's go. We're getting the furniture down. So hopefully, our GDP, look at that. Our GDP is up to 8.26 mil now. How do you improve literacy rate? Uh, I think universities you build. If we go... I don't think we even have one yet, to be honest. Our literacy is, what, 24%? So there's universities you can build. I think that helps. <clears throat> and then, if we go to policies... This should hopefully... I think if we unlock it, there's one for, like, education. Uh, show China. There they are, the Great Ching. I hope I say that right. Ching, right? Chili, chili, chili. There they are. Chili are number 35 in the world. Almost a million population, almost a million GDP. Uh, boy, I literally was on one day, Victor. What's up? Uh, <clears throat> universities and schools. Yeah, you need to invest in education institution. Yeah, I think that's actually a good shout. Um, I'll get these furnitures up so we can hopefully get more money coming in. And then, yeah, maybe I'll build a university in our capital. Because yeah, our literacy rate is really bad. <clears throat> Books don't win wars. Give them rifles. Yes. <clears throat> Quing equals Ching. Yes, okay. Uh, that is... Uh, what's that? Korea, right? What laws can you try and pass? I will uh, have a look for you right now. So we have one we can change here. So right now, this ensures the stability of our nation. Government must curb the worst excess. From So what is this then? This allows us to subsidize more. Which can be helpful to get stuff started. We have the best uh, taxation, I think. Yeah, we won't change that. Professional army, yeah, we won't downgrade that. It could be worth then, yeah, moving to this. So we can uh, subsidize stuff. I'll try and pass that. I'll see how it goes. I think we are an absolute monarchy, right? Yeah, we are an absolute monarchy. Right now. Prohibit reading, yeah, we're just going to ban every, any form of literacy. No. How dare you? Hi, J11AS. Z, sorry. Thank God, actually, but I'm not sure if the money is worth it. That's fair. See, I, I should have stepped in. It's 4 a.m. Oh, rough. Yeah, it's like, well, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. PM, yeah. Yeah, have a nice uh, sleep. So we'll, we'll try and pass this. We're building furniture, and then we'll build a university, because our literacy rate is awful. Thank you, Don't Sleep, man. I do appreciate it. See, we're making 12k a month. Not bad. Our GDP just dropped. But it seems to be going up. So, yeah, we're probably producing a decent amount of furniture now. I think... Uh, it allows all... 
I agree on all I'm doing. Good. I'm assuming we're moving towards a democracy. Yeah, that could be worth it. So for that, there's a lot of laws. We have to move down these. We'll probably have to unlock um, maybe some tech. From South Africa. On your months in Rome, should we have a look? Oh, what the? Oh, yeah. So if you want to ram, then if you click tab, you like zoom out and get like a full view of the map. This is Rome. I know where the... Check out some Greece. Yeah, the maps are fantastic. Uh, to create custom unions of Italian states can maybe lead to an Italian occasion. That's a good shout. Right now, we are on the British one. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea to stay there forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Greg, true. The one person who say they're going to sleep, don't sleep. What was your opinion on Vicky3? I'm having a good time, but it's still early days, to be honest. So, um... Intensive agriculture, yeah. Uh, can subtitle all with intervention? Well, this one. Oh, can subtitle all buildings, actually, yeah. So what's the benefit, then? Agricultural. We probably want a command economy, right? So that means the government directly manages most aspects of the production. This does seem to be happy. Uh, people seem to want this. But is it better? I don't know, actually. Yeah, it's probably bad if we can't subsidize. I didn't notice that, but that's going to be terrible. So if we need to subsidize something, you're going to try to get any colonies, maybe. But we don't have the laws for colonies just yet. If we subsidize it, will it help? They're fully employed. Nice. So we need to, I'll click my subsides. We want this to make a decent amount of money for us. Uh, we can upgrade it to lathes, uh, which uses more tools, but gives us more furniture, yes. And precision tools, uh, less furniture, but more luxury furniture. We use more hardwood and more tools. Should we do that as well? So we're actually making luxury furniture as well, which is worth a decent amount more. We're going to subsidize it as well. Gives more power to landowners, aristocrats. Okay, so yeah, maybe that's not a good thing for us then, right? Okay, I'm officially going, can I see what jam main one more time? Sure, there we go. Where is it? There it is. Uh, the beautiful rock. And it's better, or at least either the past for heavy agriculture or content really better than socialism. Stuck with that at the start. Hmm. Yeah, true. There's still a lot of the laws. Is something I still haven't delved too deep into. Uh, I get the economy to a certain extent. But there's still so much more for me to learn in this game. You know? But I'm enjoying my time. And I think that's what matters, right? See you, Lemon. Hope you have a nice day. Yeah, some of you guys might know more than me, to be honest. But yeah, I'm just having fun, which I think is the important thing. Uh, the latest I've got... Um... Maybe like the 1890s-ish. I had a couple of frame drops, but... Um, it wasn't too bad, to be honest. Um, obviously, this is an earlier version, so I think tomorrow maybe the game will uh, update, and then I'll be able to tell better, like the proper release. We have an event, a good vintage. The wine produced in abazo probably butchered that has been laundered by the sommeliers as outstanding okay people like it it's uh, exclusive wine more prestige or more wine output should we, should we focus on wine so how do we get wine is that through not through the food industries right they never actually made wine is it a way to directly because food industries make liquor. Does liquor just count as wine then? Maybe. Uh, form the Roman Empire instead. I could boss. True.
I'm trying to work out. There's got to be a way, right? I'm guessing it just counts as a liquor. I don't think it is. Oh my fucking god. Um. Well, the game did update like two days ago, and this is my first time playing the game since that update. Um. Luckily, we went for ABBA, like ABBA risk with yeah. <laughs> I've had two crashes today. Now, I, the game has updated since I recorded my video. And I haven't really dealt with crashes like this. So I don't know what's going on. I don't think this is the final version. I think there's some other version coming out before full release tomorrow, I think. It's what I've heard. So uh, <laughs> we, we crash, but then it seems to work. So um, hopefully that is fixed before full release tomorrow, right? Could be a specific output in food factories. Good point. I will check that, actually. Be gone, fucking bot. Market. Let's see. Uh, buildings. Sugar. That's more groceries. Hmm, how do we make wine? It's got to be a specific way to make wine, right? I'd imagine. Unless it's just counted as liquor in general. As li in liquor wine. I would have thought uh, for wheat farms. Ooh, okay. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Oh, uh, vineyards. Let's produce that. Thank you for that. I do appreciate that. Because, yeah, I think, I, I guess wine is with wine. Okay, it's still... Okay, wine's actually a bit cheaper because there's a lot of wine. Oh God, why is there so many bots? No. <laughs> so, so boring, better now than tomorrow. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Maybe it's just another name for beta testing after all. For we yeah, thank you, Daniel. Do appreciate that. We'll get some wine on the go, is it? Ooh, our cash reserves are basically full. So we'll bring tax limit down. And let's build we're building more furniture to try and sell the furniture. This is the event that broke it. <laughs> Please? Okay, it's working. Yeah, the game did update a little while ago, and since, well, since I haven't played it since then. But I imagine this is not the full version, right? So we're getting the wine on the go. Do you see, we're going to get some universities as well. Uh, we'll upgrade them a bit as well, to be honest. Uh, because our literacy rate is actually awful, 26.1%. That puts us 197th in the world, one of the bottom. So the, the game's basically saying that uh, two Sicilies are just wine-drinking idiots. The bots like your channel. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on. Usually I get, I get one or two a stream, but they are bloody flooding in today. Papal states next, right? So we'll start ruining relations with them. Really, and start damaging relations. I don't know if we can make anybody a puppet. Uh, the previous will probably suffer the worst from updates. Yeah, true. Yeah, so I imagine it'll be a completely separate version tomorrow. Uh, you can play Among Us and say I've never played Among Us. Not gonna lie. It may be worth investing in construction industries outside the capital to use your extra revenue to development. Good point. So if I go like over here, build more what construction sectors, is it? I think that's the that's the play. If I build a couple of them. Yes, yeah, true. Then we can build faster because right now, yeah, we are just filling up our reserves really fast. We'll build a few more as well. Bots still count towards the uh, YouTube algorithm. Yes, let's go. Oh, never put construction tax on grain. Is that a bad thing? Maybe I should upgrade taxes and stop that then. So, yeah. Uh, syntax is for anything else. Like alcohol, tobacco. Okay, so we have liquor we could tax. Let's do that. Maybe... Wine's not much money. Not really point. Consumption tax on things rich people buy. That's a sweet spot. That's a good point. 
So yeah, I'm still very much learning this game, but I'm excited to keep learning though, which is a good thing. Like I bought Imperator Rome a few weeks ago and then I was like, I can't be bothered to learn it. But this I actually want to learn. So that's a good start. So we'll get uh, more universities built. Try and fix our literacy rate because it's awful. And then we'll build more construction sectors and hopefully I'll be able to upgrade a fair amount. We are damaging relations with the Papal States. Africa looks juicy, yes. Yeah, we don't seem to be able to. We're going to improve relations with a bunch of people, basically. Try and stop them from joining in wars against us. Tax opium. Yeah, I'll see how much money I can get from that. 2k for... Yeah, 100. Fair enough. So rich people, what do they buy? Hmm... Tobacco? Yeah, that's a good shout. So we're up to about 10k, though. We're, we're kind of burning money. We don't really need to hold it all. Logistics. Nice. The duel. So, this... Who is this? An admiral and a politician want a duel to the death. I always let them fight. There we are. The admiral won. Tax the poor. <laughs> no. That's so harsh. The poor poor. How dare you? Tax the rich, right? When universities fix our awful, awful cash uh, literacy rates, 26%. Ouch. Let's see, luck for the population screen for the consumption. So yeah, I'll have luck for you. Uh, population there. I look this, and then I hover over. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I like hover over year. Where is it? Impo Where's the screen I used? This screen. And then we can see if people are like overpaying for certain things. So they want to um, make those things cheaper. Yeah, we're on our way to taking the Papal States. We're just uh, ruining our relationship with them and trying to make France like us a little bit more, hoping they don't join. We're going to build some construction sectors and then we're going to build up our military with those construction sectors. You have more units. Tax everyone. You're asked, That's fair. That's the most fair. <laughs> Make some deficit. Yeah. Um. What we're going to do is once these universities are built, we're going to build a bunch of construction sectors. I'm going to actually build them first. Yeah, we're going to build the construction sectors first and then... Construction will be more expensive. So in that way, yeah, we'll lose some money. So we're not just holding all the money. I think multiplayer will be good. I think it'll be quite fun. Well, I haven't tried it just yet, but hopefully I will soon. Maybe, um, I know on my Discord, I do a lot of like CK3 multiplayer games. So maybe I'll host some Vic3 ones on Discord as well. So if you want to join... The Discord link is in the description. Maybe we'll get some on the go at some point. Yeah, hopefully the Pope's not absolutely insane. He doesn't seem insane. To be honest, I think we could beat him. Yeah, we're going to finish these construction sectors. Maybe build even more, to be honest with you. Plus 24 now. And then what we do is go to building development, uh, barracks, and... Upgrade some of these. Let's get some more units on the go. We can actually upgrade these as well. Mobile artillery. Yeah, let's do that. A few more units and they've got proper artillery now. Uh, if you're sitting on a pile of cash, would it be uh, worth it to subsidize import of lower... Uh, maybe, I guess. Yes, although I think it's a good idea now only because I'm gonna probably going to spend a lot of money on this war. I imagine finding the Papal States isn't going to be cheap. That could be worth it, I guess, if you can do that. But yeah, of course. Um, I've said a few times, right? This is all still quite new to me. So I'm learning as we go along. So yeah, we're actually losing money now. Look for construction because it's a lot more expensive. Conquer, uh, conquer Jam Mayan. Yeah, it's still up here chilling. Problem is... A game started is part of Norway. Uh, 
Uh, more interest groups, that's fine. We need to build up our military and then we're going to start a diplomatic play. For Conquer State, right here, right? Hopefully that goes well. I hope. Yeah, I will definitely try and get some Victoria 3 multiplayer games uh, done with you guys if any of you want to join. We're just basically waiting for all these to be built. Right, let's start it now then. Diplomatic play. Uh, we're going to conquer state. Could make them a puppet, but I guess that's not really work what we want to do. We want to directly hold them. Ooh, looks like Britain's not going to help us. The Pope, how many divisions has he got? Uh, Merc spamming gun. They've got five, but they have a bunch of conscript battalions. Right, we're going to start activating our conscripts. Raise them all. If we um, promote these guys, they can actually hold more units each. So that should work out now. Still more being built. Let's hold out a minute before we do raise them. Don't seem to get anyone on our good on our side. We can get Spain. Oh, we've missed it. Okay, it's just us v them. We got this. I think. Oh no, it's too early still. Sorry. As an essay to personally hold it, I'm not really sure. I haven't actually tried just yet. I don't fully know what the ideal plan would be. The end. Uh, yeah, that's true, Daniel. I think after this, after this war, we'll unlock, we'll stop building railroad, uh, railroads, and if we go to our buildings, we'll enable rail transportation, so less laborers are required for like iron mines, farms, and stuff like that. But I think we'll do that just after this war. I think would be a good idea. Too much goes on at once. I'm up. <laughs> I'll forget. Let's see. Steam donkey. We want that. I think. Uh, is the MA situation a serious thing? Okay, what you mean? I don't know what I mean by MA. But. Right. Spe oh, we can. Yes. Britain, please. Why? Oh, right. Wait, so how does this work then? Britain will join. If we offer them a treaty port, is it? Offer make puppet. Who a puppet? Hmm. Add war goals, conquer state, that one. Add war goal, um, conquer state. So our war goals is for all of their land. Um, I think you can change the capital. I think there's, um, there is a way somewhere. Somewhere there is a button. I know there is. I swear I've seen it. I'm probably just blind. There is a way to change the capital, though. I'm, there is somewhere. Can we see the cost of war? I'll have a look. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, Britain will join, but they want, like, random things. I don't know how that works. Why can't we offer? We already owe an obligation to Spain. Oh, no. Oh, we're f fucked. <laughs> they got Prussia. No one wants to join us. Nobody wants to join us. I think we're done. Don't make Britain too powerful. Yeah, I won't stay in the British market too long, I don't think. <coughs> oh, we're done for. Britain, how dare you? You've... How have they bagged Prussia and Spain? <gasps> Offer humiliation. Yeah, please. Yeah, you can humiliate Spain. Yeah? Guys? You're terrible. We don't want you. If we get Britain, we may be okay. Oh, Prussia's left. Wait, what? Prussia was there, but now Prussia's moved back. We can still back down now, but we got, we got this. So we can offer... We did offer Britain, but... So we can offer France... So the, uh, France would start a subjugation war on Parma. We'd basically have to help them get it, but I don't want to do that. 
Britain. We can offer humiliation. Yes, I offer it to you. Please. You can humiliate Spain if you just join. Be gone, bot. Oh my god, stop. Yes, we are going to hopefully get enough people to join our side. Steal the Pope's hat. Yes. We're just, that's the whole point in the war. We're just going to fucking raid for his hat. Imagine. Right, so we're going to get our battalions now to just advance front right there, ready. So I imagine this is going to kick off. France, we've done it like six times now, please. <gasps> yes! Britain's on our side. I think we're good. We think we're good. Can we get France? We could get France, but they want too much. As long as France don't join them, I think we've won. Uh, Britain's very good. Because France would want... Oh, yeah, we don't have enough anyway. So, yeah, I think we're good with just Britain. Our troops are going to go advance the front. So, our war goals is basically take all of their land. Ooh. Almost get Russia, but did you mobilize? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our guys are advancing the front right here. Britain is in. Yeah, we're lucky, Greg. I think we're okay now. Any other war goals? No point, really, right? We're going to take all their land, I think. Please don't get anyone else. France, please, I beg. If we could get Russia, we'd be good. But they want a treaty port. But we can't actually do anything about it. Sugar Daddy Britannia. Yeah, we are... Propertied women. So what's this? Ooh, yes. So if we... Uh, this gives us more birth rate. But this gives us uh, more workforce. Workforce all the way, right? Honestly, true. Yeah, Prussia were like, um... Because they joined their side. I panicked. Just end. We can win if we have this many. Just end. Please, game. Please. Can't do this to me anymore. How the war works here. So we're hoping... To defeat them in a war and take all of their land. So right now, basically, both of us are swaying these countries to join our side. And it's locked. So once it goes past the second bar up here, it's locked. So we have Great Britain. They have Spain. Who's this? Parma and Modena. Modena? Modena, whatever. So our war goals is to conquer three of their states, which is all of their land. And then we have to help Britain humiliate Spain. What? Uh, but the Lord. Revolution. Britain can't lose chance to humiliate Spain. Yeah. yeah. Do you think there could be a revolution? That's a good shout, actually. I don't mind a revolution, though, because you still play. So it's not too bad, to be honest. It's often just fun. Once you've got most of Italy on lock, you should be able to negotiate start moving towards your own market. Goal of Greece and other... Yeah, for sure. And this is a good learning thing to me before. So, uh... This is good learning experience for me. So yeah, our troops are advancing the front. Uh, na uh, na oh yeah, true. Let's actually see. I want to find out where that is. Uh, so nationalism. So society. Yeah, walls broken out. Nationalism. Where is that? Let me find that. Is it at the bottom? Hmm. <laughs> These trees are awful when you don't know where the thing is. Yeah, we do need nationalism. So let me actually find where that is. So I can make my way towards that. Because that'll help us unify Italy, right? There's pan-nationalism. Could it be that? Oh, there it is. Okay, got it. So yes. Hopefully that is what we need to unify Italy, right? I think someone said earlier. So we'll pick up that next then. We're winning here. Now, where is it? The thing where it shows this is the screen someone wanted, right? I'm going to play defensive until the British arrive to hell in the middle of the tree. I got it. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I'm blind sometimes. So, we've lost 13,000. They've lost 13,000. It's wounded and the cost of war. Uh, you might want to play defensive until the British arrive. Do you think so? Because I think, at least anyway, until some of their allies arrive, we're good. Like, we can beat the Papal States 1v1. So I'm going to keep pushing up for now. And maybe if the allies arrive first, we'll uh, go defensive.
do you think? I don't know. Maybe I could play defensive, but if it's an advantage, or maybe I'll stay aggressive until we need to switch that up. So you can see the dead, wounded, and cost ticking up. It's costing them a lot. Oh, no, it's asking a lot more. Never mind. Pain. <laughs> it's costing us a lot. We're advancing. Oh, there we are. We're advancing. Look. So once you win, your borders will push up. Uh, Pull it from Papal States. Used to sit in there. True. Uh, stop damaging relations. Uh, I guess. Does anyone want to improve relations with? Everyone, right? Prussia, because they can get involved. We can't. Okay, we'll leave it for now. Free girls in your city, Jesus. Go away. I probably could build as well, right? Uh, universities, I want more. Because our literacy rate is still really bad. <laughs> that was good, Daniel. We both fought that at the same time. What is a good idea to build, though? Universities could work. Clothes are worth a lot of money right now on the British market. So I'm thinking maybe clothes. And we do have some textile mills. Could upgrade them to dye workshops. More clothes. And upgrade them a tad. Can you release Ireland? Yeah, you can. I know when I played as Britain for my video, I did have an option to release like Wales and Ireland. A uh, cold way to help keep Britain in check is keep taking uh, their help. Play defensive and let the workers do it. That's true, actually. The thing I'm worried of is if they take a while to get you and Spain get... Oh, they're fighting down here. Look, Spain and obviously Gibraltar, right? Yeah. So maybe Spain and Britain keep each other busy. We can defeat everyone else. I think Malta back in the long term. I mean, for sure, maybe. Um, I haven't got an exact plan. It was kind of just, I seen someone suggest it on Reddit. And I was like, that sounds fun. Let's do that. So yeah. So creative I am. And um, during the wars, look, this is the main thing. So they split off. So we're winning this, look, easily. Even Spanish troops here and we're still winning. So if we come up here, we can see we've lost more, uh, less troops, less wounded, but it's cost us more. But right now, we're still advancing like crazy. Oh yeah, Sic uh, two Sicilies definitely easier. That's why I chose it. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm still not amazing at the game. I'm still learning. So I thought two Sicilies would be good. But in, in private now, for maybe the next week, I'll play a lot of the game. And um, hopefully get some good challenge videos up uh, on my channel as videos. So if you do want to see them, uh, I'd appreciate you subscribing. So hopefully I'll have more Victoria 3 stuff soon. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, Greg. If they're just fighting down here, invading Spain, I think we're good. To uh, take all their land. And look, their war support is already in negatives. We've basically taken all their land. Then we have to help them humiliate Spain, right? So uh, we've got to be aware of that as well. We'll keep our word. Although I think they could do it alone, to be honest with you. They've almost taken all their land. Look, one more advance here. I thank you for the Paradox announcement. Always love your content. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah, when Paradox gave me the opportunity to play the game early and uh, do a video early, I was absolutely shocked. So obviously, I'm quite a small channel still, and it was just honestly amazing. Although, um, it was scary because I had to learn the game and I still haven't learned everything. You know how it is with uh, Paradox games, though. You need a lot of time to learn. So we've spent over a mil this war has cost us. We've lost 55,000 men. Honestly, the death and wounded rate is quite similar. Yeah, we have big advantages. We're smashing all their armies. It's all going pretty well. There we are. They gave up. So now... We have conquered all of this. Well, why? Well, there we are. We've conquered all of that. But the war, if you remember, will still carry on. Because there's some war goals left to go. Like humiliate Spain. <laughs> yeah, Great Britain would love to end the war with that. Plus a thousand. <laughs> uh, I wonder what the general conditions are for successful humiliation. I'd... I know for humiliation... Um... 
I need to go to war, but once you do do it, I think it's similar to everything else. Like, you need to um, occupy some of their land, like, beat them in a typical war. And then um, they lose prestige and stuff, right? We're going to advance front. I might as well keep advancing front up here then if they're still in the war. Yeah, when I first got into Hoifu, I watched an eight-hour tutorial. Yeah, uh, it's insane. Obviously, and I wanted to create a video by yesterday. It was so stressed. I was trying to learn, like, the basics. Don't forget to incorporate new territories. Good shout. Thank you. We've incorporated Sardinia. Let's start over here, then. Incorporate more at the same time, actually. Hey, what happened in Istanbul? Who knows? Uh, yeah, you know, the wheel's a bit crazy. What's this? South Atlantic Islands. Uh, spheres of influence. I have no idea, to be honest. Marcus is like one of the things that joins a lot of countries together in a way. Yeah, I'm still very much learning. I've said many times, and I will keep learning, but I'm having fun. Bureaucratic, what is this? So, two Sicilies. Ooh, less enactment time and uh, success. This is for the law we're trying to pass. Minus 5% bureaucracy for five years. And more, I'll rather just take the enactment chance, to be honest. It's terrible now, but bureaucracy is so important. What are you going to do to the Pope? Yeah, I wonder what does actually happen to the Pope. They just disappear now. Bot alert. Yeah. <laughs> Not good, is it? Fucking bot all the time. First thing he is his market. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Egypt took Constantinople. Yeah, I don't know how they managed that. But Egypt are oh, big. Look at them. I mean... They're what in the world? Oh, the 14th. But we're above them. We're now 8th in the world. Our GDP is now t almost 13 mil as well. Uh, did you research nationalism and use that to unify the entire thing? I haven't researched nationalism just yet. We are still researching that. Um, so yeah, right now we're just still stomping, to be honest. We are researching that, though. That will be soon. That's uh, the next thing to unlock. Yeah, there's, there's definitely a lot to this game uh, that... I haven't cracked just yet. Oh, the other day it did kind of click to me the market part of the game, which was good. I think it's all paradox games. One day it just clicks, right? One day I'll be so confused and then it'll just hit. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's have a look. Spain there. United States are fifth. Obviously, Great Britain, France, Russia, and the Great Qing, East India Company. Austria, Prussia, Egypt. Uh, Portugal are 19th. And Egypt are 14th. So we are a major power. Egypt are what? Unrecognized major power. So if they're unrecognized, I don't think they're quite capped on the prestige they can get. Uh, Sicily has really good fertilizer. Uh, so Italy from a good fertilizer producer. Yeah, this won't be the perfect Italian run. Yeah, the Great Qing, uh, they're kind of... They're not great, right? But they just have so many people. Yeah. <laughs> Like, the population's insane. So they can, like, just produce so much stuff. See, so, yeah, we're still waiting for this to pass. But we will help uh, Britain, though. They helped us. We'll help them. Why can't we advance Frontier? Oh, we can. Okay, there we are. So we're going to start advancing the front as well. You can't go jam me. No, we haven't. <laughs> uh, is it worth building the Ottomans sometime soonish now? Do you think so? 
Maybe go to war and get war, repar uh, war reparations off them. <laughs> They're not great except their name. <laughs> So we'll help them do that. This will end pretty soon. This war will cost us 84,000 men and 1.8 million. Although we have taken the Papal States as well, which is great. Two Sicilies looking mean. This is why I use the thumbnail as well. I just love... This looks so nice, this part of the map, I think, like that. Something like that, I use the thumbnail, right? Look at the map. Oh my god. Please stop. <laughs> um, meme on Tunis and take North Africa. Do you think we should? Let's see, what are our relations? What are they? They are... Oh, wait, we need to be careful. We are infamous right now. 43.5. So if you do too many wars, your infamy will skyrocket. I have no idea if there's a way to do it without wars, to be honest. I haven't really tried. I don't, would there be? Maybe if you can get them... Can I become your protect... Uh, you can become their protector or whatever, maybe? Maybe that's the way to do it. I don't really know. I haven't really tried. I'm going to be honest. Like maybe if we can make them into protectorates, maybe that way. Um, and kind of force them to give up their land if there's a way. This game makes me want an EU5. <laughs> you try ally France for when you have to fight Austria. France is not really a fan of us. They're cooperative. Great Britain really like us. Yeah, France could actually be a good ally, to be fair. Still just jamming out to the music. This music will never get old. I downloaded the full soundtrack when I was editing my video for yesterday, and it's just a jam, right? <laughs> yeah, we are absolutely dominating. This war is about to end, finally. There we are. Still got to beat Spain, though. We're building more textile mills. Uh, our GDP is now 15k. Look, it is going up. Atmospheric engine completed. Well, what does this mean? Uh, through the widespread introduction of the atmospheric engine in the military industry, productivity is at an all-time high. So coal, iron, lead, and sulfur become more effective or efficient. 2.5k progress on water tube boiler. Ooh. That's actually a tough one. Because water tube boilers are really good because they um, take a lot of, like, peasants out of certain industries and into better ones. Uh, no, we'll do that. We can just... We can research it when we need it. Maybe next. Yeah, water tube boilers are great. I'm interested to hear how many of you have got pre-orders. Did many of you pre-order the game or are you, like, more waiting for it to release? Like, are you waiting to see the game? Maybe see more videos on it? Nothing under construction. Right, let's think. What do we want to do? <laughs> what do we want to do? What's worth a lot of money? Uh, if, you need, if you need to call your jet on the conquest finance, period of time to focus on building your own market and taking uh, Greece and Balkans that way. Yeah. <coughs> uh, there's not enough tools. So do we maybe want to build... Some tools or mines, is it? Let's go... What is it? Uh, staple, is it? Not staple, is it? Industrial. So, yeah, coal, not looking so good. Steel, not great. And iron is okay. Maybe some coal mines. Pre-ordered yesterday, pre-ordered, waiting, waiting for it to go on sale, waiting. Yeah, it's a fair mix. But, um... Yeah, I don't often pre uh scaling. Uh I mean 100% for me. It's on mostly high, but refractions. I don't know why, but that's what it's on. Yeah, I don't often pre-order. I often wait for it to come out and I, if I want to play, I'll buy on the day, but fair enough. 
pre-ordered it yesterday. Nice. Um, so yeah, maybe coal mines, because um we're struggling for coal. So like I said, we play it on Game Pass and then buy it on Steam Layers and get it DLC for cheaper. Fair enough. Need it for industrialized. Yeah, okay. So we'll go we'll go with coal. Uh do we have coal mines? The goal is somewhere, right? Do we not have any coal? We do. Okay, we need to actually start producing coal. We'll get us up to number five. See how that goes. So war is still going on with Spain, but almost over. As you can see, we're pushing through their land with ease. We've lost more men, though, but, you know, we're advancing. That's what matters. Fuck the people. As I always do, I wait until the YouTube content creators have mastered the game so I can learn from you guys. Honestly, that's what I usually do, right? I usually wait for the people on YouTube to get the game. Well, this is the first time I actually got a game early. So I couldn't just go on YouTube and lock it up. I was like, oh my god, what do I do? Uh, Sardinia for coal. Thank you. I'll actually... Thank you, man. Guess I'm built there as well. Yeah, usually I go on YouTube and like watch videos. And that's why I learn. But obviously... For this game, there was none of that, so it was uh, quite a difficult few days. Trying to know what the hell to do. <laughs> Newspaper offer support. Government expenses, uh, no. We're losing a fair bit of money now, but we still got a decent amount in reserves. So I'm not too worried. That war has ended as well. Yay. Had a sudden realization that you're the <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh my god, what do I do? <laughs> Loaded up the game. I was like, wait. There's no fucking uh, tutorials out on YouTube yet. I'm talking still KX is Imperator Rome. Yeah, I fair enough. Brax is uh, employed, nice. Uh what are your ways to form Italy? I just remember two Sicilies, because I assumed it'd probably be the Easiest. Yeah, I know uh, Andy's take, yeah. Yeah, I spoke to him quite a lot, Andy's take. He's a great guy. On the low epic, yeah. <laughs> nice. We just stop. I think we just stop, right? We give up. Uh, but yeah, I chose two Sicilies because it's probably the easiest, and I'm still not great at the game. Still got a long way to go and a lot to learn. Law won't pass. Can you form Rome? I have no idea. I haven't tried. Maybe? I know there is a game rule. Ga How do I go game rules? Formable nations, all. Or I think you can go on historic. So uh, all uh, fantasy-esque nations uh, can be formed. So I guess Rome and wherever else. And maybe like other ones, like older ones. Um, No, I've only spoke to him on Discord. Why is everything all right? Yeah, I've only ever reached out to him on Discord. Might just released a video before the embargo lifted. Oh fuck! No, he didn't. He may have. Maybe he ha Maybe he's allowed. <laughs> oh shit! He might. Don't get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, I only have him on Discord. Um, maybe he was allowed. I don't know if there was any videos today, though. I don't know. Maybe he's seen the streams and thought it was today. Oh god. Yeah, I only have him on Discord. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Senate is too strong in Italy. Yeah, they refuse that. But Dax is full of full review. That's true. Yeah, Grave. I literally only have him on Discord. And he's offline. Oh, I just think you've messaged me as well. I'll answer them uh, when I finish as well, man. Maybe his clock was off. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Is World War 1 a thing? Uh, when does the game end? 19... It ends... Is it 930s? I don't know. I've never actually got to the game end. In Discord, I have him there. Yeah, I have only way I have to get hold of him. God. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fucking hell. I hope he fixes that. Maybe, hopefully, he was allowed. Let's just hope. Yeah, we are building coal mines. Check, around, get, um, check the requirements to get. Let's have a look. Journal. Requirements. Where is it? This one. So yeah, we need to research nationalism. 
Uh, it's only my nations within our customs union. So then we have to make our own customs union with the other guys, right? So we'll try that. 90, 60, 100 years. Yeah, so it ends just before World War 1. Big Hopi is allowed. Oh, uh, yeah, God. So then we, he's definitely not the type to do that on purpose. 100%. In 1936, this is really just when high four begins, making the converter easy. Hmm, hmm, hmm. We need to save some more money. We're losing money in our reserves. We're not looking too good. Yeah, I've all, I've tried getting into high four as well. I may have like 35 hours in it, but never been able to fully get into high four. To be honest, I've been meaning to. Let's see, our coal mines are almost built, but we are losing money. Maybe we could raise taxes more. Uh, how long until we get... We've almost unlocked nationalism, so then we can work towards a united... Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, we're just really waiting on them. Uh, sorry for distracting. Enjoy the game. Thank you, Grave Run. I do appreciate you. Thanks for letting me know. I hope yeah, you can get hold of him. I mean, from the thumbnail, it looks like a positive view, so you'd hope he would let it slide. Cannons expensive campaign into high four campaign. Cannons expensive. Um, are they, um, is it in military? Do we see cannons? They're actually not that expensive. Let's hear about these, you. Artillery. Nationalism unlocked. So, journal. So, more uh, than 14 must be true. So, it's basically just taking land, then, yeah. So, we have been on the right track. So we are, we are on the right track. Can you form Rome? I don't know for sure. How do you do a plan to deal with Austria that stands in your way? Basically, I plan to keep improving relations and uh, hopefully getting a good enough ally. That's my plan. <laughs> I don't know how good that plan is. Right? Should maybe unlock some military tech or production. Like, improved fertilizer could be good. I'm going to get water to boiler next, actually, so we can uh, save on our peasants working in, like, farms and mines. Eventually, Paradox will have games hacked in and start to the nation of Bronze Age. So, honestly, that would be amazing. It would take forever, though. Uh, don't be afraid to go in some debt to develop your country. Just make sure you're not too far in debt and have good savings before war. True. Yeah, our savings are quite low, so we need to fix that right now. I think that's our next plan. Uh, could you show an overview of uh, arable land in a game? From the dev stream, it seems a, uh, East Asia has an insane amount of land available. Is there a way to like see... Is there a way? I swear there was. I was on it yesterday and it was like... um. A way to see all that. Like actual just terrain view like. Britain. Okay, I thought that was Britain and France for some reason for a second then. Actually panicked. I thought some shit was about to go down. We do not want them going to war because they basically are like our daddy. They, they control us. They um save our lives basically. Yeah, I have no idea where to see that sort of stuff. Yeah, right now, we are on the right track for this. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, uh, will you take Lombardy, Venice, and the okay, that's fine. It may be. I've got no idea what happened to that point. Try build uh the farm from lower bar. Uh, try the building farm from lower bar. I think the best way. Yeah, I think that's probably the best way to grow on market. I agree, to be fair. Try the building bar from the lower bar. Let's have a look. So we go production, is it? You would see like different la I have no idea. See, the menus are still confusing to me a lot of the time. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> like the menus is a lot of menus. I'm going to be okay. Uh, overview window at start, actually. Guess it's not... In it's not listed in game. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, 
So yeah, there's probably a way, but the menus, yeah, I still haven't got used to them completely. We're making money again now, though. Um, check that event. The guy has to get the movement, tiny notification, which what? Um, diplomatic play. I think it'll stay just enough fun. Is there like, yeah, is there a diplomatic play we have now? Or is it just conquer? Okay, we seem to need to hold them. So we need to just conquer enough of them. You got this guy next. Uh, should be quite an easy war, right? Uh, what, what do they think of us? They don't like us, probably. They're threatened by us. We're still infamous. Then we could easily now start a diplomatic play for Conquer State there. And do that again. But the problem is you never know if someone else is going to jump in the way. Which is what I'm worried about. Oh, this is like I see all the nations then, is it? Oh my God, I was looking for this screen for like an hour last night to try and get like a screenshot of the country, but there we are. Uh, getting customs union in high relations, what? For, do, is that for to get them to join us, Connor, do you think? How do you take, we just took it to be honest, I don't know, we just conquered them, went to a big war and it just worked. Yeah, for, I think this is the only way to ingrate, right? Properly, is follow this. And then we get this event. So we need to, um, we need to own them all. The people of Italy are divided. Petty city-states and foreign powers vie for control of a people who are calling out for unity. We must lead the charge. So yeah, I think we need to conquer them uh, that way. Modernizing your army. Yeah, that's probably a good shout, especially if we need to fight uh, Austria. So I think we have a technology to unlock. So I want... Uh, we'll, we'll do military next, actually. Let's see. No, stop that. What do we want? Port level? No. We want, like, skirmish infantry. Yeah, better infantry for the barracks. Let's do that. So, yeah, better infantry is always a good thing. What's this? The renowned general has offered his services to two Sicilies. A staunch Republican and Italian nationalist, he is skilled at both commander on the field and as military politician. Chad, yes. Lead, uh, so he appears in two Sicilies. Politics or military? What do we, what do we want? You can pick. Do we make him? So, politics... Or he becomes a general for our army. I'll let you guys decide that one. We have two options for this guy. So we can go do politics, maybe lead a party to success. Or maybe he'll be a fantastic commander. Polit uh, general seems to win it. We'll let it go with just a couple votes. We want it to go on long. Yeah, you could, I guess we're going to go to a lot of war, right? So maybe general's the play. That could make sense, but it's quite close, actually. <laughs> He's a military man, is how I was saying, because General is just edging it. Actually, if I go directly, Italy cannot be formed from an event. Instead, General Entry is meant for guiding tools. Here we are. Okay, General just jumped up in the front. So, let him lead the front. There he is. Where is he? Because it's absolute Chad. Possibly if you want to go Republican, but I haven't moved from the oh, backward kingdom. Well, um... <laughs> A crime to make a manager, a politician. Let's see, if we go to politics laws, I do want to get, get away from absolute monarchy. Um, but we have no way right now. I think we may need to pass some laws, maybe. Uh, don't push her through pops over time. Mm, okay. So maybe that's... And someone said they cannot be. So yeah, maybe we'll just conquer. We'll follow the journal entries, right? So we need to conquer this guy. So we'll start... Do we start a military play already? No, we're going to build up our barracks... Maybe a bit more. Don't have any new tech for them, but we can build more of them, right? Let's go build in development. We'll build a couple more. We'll get that up to 20. So we add six more there. We'll add five more there. That's a few more now. Um, no mistake, um, to form Italy, you need to click the button uh, at the culture... The button at the culture tab on the left. The culture tab... Wasn't as good as politician. He trusted. He, uh, he trusted people. The fool. We war, war works too. 
I'm fighting for a poem called the Nations. Lincoln even asked him to lead the Union Army in Civil War. Yeah, so... Oh. Oh, yeah, thank you. So this is how we can launch a unification play. Start a Unify Italy diplomatic play. Two Sicily's attempts to annex all lesser Italian countries. So we have Austria on the enemy, do you think? Ru uh, so Great Britain, Russia, France, Prussia, Sweden, Spain, Greece, and Egypt could go against us. So is it too risky, do you think? But then we'd unify all lesser nations. So that's how you do it then. Form Italy. But we could form it, but we need to have 12, or we could do a unification play. How easy is this game to learn compared to other Paradox games? Um, Okay, the tutorial is fantastic. The tutorial's really good. It's still quite in-depth, but it'll probably take you a good few hours to actually learn it. But yeah, the tutorial for this game is probably the best tutorial I've played for any Paradox game. Um, Really good. To be honest. How's the infantry? Should you maybe wait for a more cooldown? Yeah, infantry is not great. We are unlocking uh, better infantry as well. So maybe we build up our army a little bit more. And then build up like a war chest. And then maybe launch that. Don't know if it's going to go well. But we can try. Maybe raise relations with some people who may join on their side. I feel like having this in the cultures tab is weird as well though, right? Like I'd probably never find this. Maybe that's just me. So if we go to do it, who's going to join their side? Russia kind of like us. Great Britain, France. Hmm. You're improving. Can we make an ally with anyone? Um. Where is it? Don't make actions. Alliance, no. Uh, build more arms industries, maybe. Okay, I'll have a look at that as well. I am back once again. Welcome back. We can't make any alliances. Nobody wants an ally. Come an ally with us. If you're too scared of war, I think for Italy Bum comes kickable if you get enough miners in your custom union. Yeah, so I think we need 12. So it's up to you. I'm happy enough to go for the big war where we try and take it all again, one big massive like world war sort of thing. Or we can do it one by one. That's it, Austria. Yeah, so Austria will be on their side. So that is something to look out for. And they're very powerful. I think did might play. Building relations with at least one major power is probably more important than building the military. Yeah, we have good relations with Britain. They don't seem to want to form like a defensive pact or anything. Because our infamy is bad. They have higher rank. They're cautious. Our relations are good. So yeah, because of our... Infamy. People are not really wanting to make allies with us because our infamy is really bad. And the more infamy we get, the less likely people are going to be able to like join our side because they don't like us. So that is a could be a problem. No, I'll try the big war. Yeah, I feel like one by one is more safe, but big war is just going to be the big war, innit? I don't know. I'm split between it, the two. Both could be fun. Uh, Prussia could join you since Austria holds German territory as well. Maybe we could improve relations with Prussia. Wait for more mill tech. Form Italy first, then go for the big world Austria for the Italian territories. Uh, it's not for sure that it'll cause a global ruckus. Yeah, it could, but it might not. If it doesn't, we shall be good. Give it a few more months and then go for the big war. Yeah, maybe we could build up our military a little bit more. Maybe our relations. Uh, can you reduce radicals? Let's have a look. They're not too high, actually. Well, it's about, yeah, they're quite high, actually. So reasons are being fired from buildings, standard of living, uh, decreases of standard of living. Yeah. Try and worry for adrenaline junkie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree, Greg. Uh, yeah, we'll let infamy dial down. Maybe we'll work on upgrading our military. Maybe we'll get some arms industries. Someone did suggest that. Can we build one? Where is it? There. 
We're getting our arms industries down and maybe... How's the employment looking? There is a way to like... Where is it? There you are. So we can see unemployed unemployment. So we want to find one with decent unemployment. Do we have any? Everyone's employed. Hmm. So we really need water two boilers uh, to unemploy some of these people from the like lesser jobs. Expensive military goods. We want artillery to be cheaper and maybe opium. Because opium helps for like uh, cheap. Like medical, basically. What is this? A uh, mining accident. So more radicals. There's more radicals no matter what. Industrial, yeah, I like the industrial people, so we'll go with them. So yeah, maybe we will try the big wall pretty soon, I guess. Uh, check your arms industry production. Uh, buildings... Where are they arm industry? These are oh zero. They build no, they just built. So you've got these ones. Um They're producing cannons. They can't do rifles just yet. We haven't invented rifling, so maybe we should unlock rifles as well first. Go to technology. Another mining accent. Yeah, they happen quite often, I'm not gonna lie. Uh rifles, rifling, rifling, rifling. Where are you? There. Rifles is probably important, so maybe we'll get that as well. Pick up rifles. Uh, it doesn't really matter here, like it doesn't seek it. I don't, I don't think it's, I don't know, is it as important, to be honest? You have religion stuff and blah, 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 but I don't know. I've never really seen the true effects of religion. Let's, see, let's get speed up. Let's get these arms industries built. You know, I think maybe we do go for the big wall. I think it'll just be a fun way to go. And we either success or we're a big fail, you know? But there's expensive military goods. We want to get these cheaper. They're employing people nice. We'll upgrade that a bit as well, to be honest. And maybe we'll subsidize it a bit, help it get its foot in. Because they're fully employed, they get some cash reserves. Yeah, they're employing people quite quick. Uh, Freedom of conscience may be better than state religion for laws. So right now, the church is an official organ of the state. All minority religions are discriminated against. Now, with this... The state has an official state religion, but the people may choose what they believe. Yeah, that's probably good. Um, I imagine that'll help with radicals, right? I think the arms factory's way up since uh, conscription's the only realistic way you're going to beat the Austrian. It's probably going to pull up demand massively. Mm, yeah, so we'll build quite a few of these. We'll see. Maybe I'll get these to 10 and see how that goes for now. We'll try and pass that law. We'll build up our arms industries. Literally got like 8% since the start of the game. Yeah, we, we haven't focused on it too much. Um, we've built a few universities, which probably helps. So yeah, it's not actually too good either. We could definitely focus on it more if we wanted and like build more universities and that, but I don't know. I think we're doing all right without it for now. Near the end of the stream. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll build up for now anyway. We'll keep building. <laughs> Um, uh, percussion gas unlocks munition factories, I swear. Okay, I'll, um, we'll unlock them next and go to rifling. How does assimilation work? Well, um, no clue. I'll also be useful when you take Tunis. <laughs> True. Have you played China yet? I haven't actually played in China. <laughs> Not just yet. I haven't taken on that task. But yeah, population's on the decrease. The GDP's quite good, though. Voice of the nation. Or prestige, you have an anthem. 
Let's try improving relations with everyone. I really want to get an alliance, but nobody wants an alliance with us. Sad. And Japan usually ends up in war with Russia. They still have the Shogunate. Yeah, they do usually end up with war in, uh, against Russia at some point. Seen happen a few times. I haven't played as them. Could be fun though. It might be worth teach uh, towards whatever lets you create uh, education institution for understand it's the main driver of literacy. Yeah, um, what? So look, have we unlocked them yet? Uh, is there a way to see what? Is it like a research then we need to unlock that? Oh god. Bot! I know we've had quite a few today. Dirty bots, how dare they? What's this then? Uh, enactment success. Now we do want this to pass. Uh, we'll lose a bit of bureaucracy, whatever. How do Chinese cities look? I've only seen the European cities up close. Let's find. This is Beijing right now. Still on that horse and carriage game. Japan is at war with Russia, kind of like a reality. But wait, I joined the team late, so I might be missing something. But why aren't you involved in the remaining Italian miners? Oh, we're going the conquering way, basically. So, if we go to cultures... Oh, go to cultures. And then we go Italy. We have a launch unification play where we can basically take their land. So we're improving relations with the big nations. Try and stop them joining on the enemy side, basically. And hopefully it goes well. Somewhere in the society tree. I should look. We haven't unlocked to be fair, so we're looking for. What would it be? Some education based? More taxation capacity is always good. Central banking. So I have no idea. I, I still haven't learned the trees. Um, banking's good though, because we actually get more taxation capacity. And we've almost unlocked that, so I'll focus on that for a minute. What is Prussia doing? I don't know. What are they doing? Are they at war with Russia? Maybe they're at war with Russia. I think that's what's going on. Don't know if there's a direct way to see... Oh, there we are. So, Prussia is against these guys. Okay, so, allegiances. Yeah, Russia's joined the enemy side. But Sweden's on Prussia's side. So, that's interesting. So, we're getting a bit of Russia v. Prussia. Claim of Poland. Or Switzerland. They're right in the middle. Oh my god, it's just... So awful, why? It says you only need three more regions to, uh, to form Italy. Since you have nine out of twelve required states, so you might get them for free if you are in a customs union. Yeah, I don't know how it works though. I'm not really sure. Like, I'm in a customs union for Britain. But I don't think, like, I'm not really a, a part of Britain. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. A central archive gives us more taxation capacity as well. So we're going to do some of those. Because I think our taxation capacity, I did see earlier, was down. I can't remember where I've seen it though. A time nation to export unification to a new unification play. So it... Uh, I'll overthrow the British Empire as well. So I have no idea, but I do want to try that. Out of the gore. I think you also uh, have to pass a law enabling the institution. It's possible to have education institutions unlocked, but haven't passed a law of them yet. Should I check? Mm -hmm. So where would it be? Maybe some... No schools. No. Bring them up. What's our... Requires one of the them. Disallowed by Tory separation law. No, we want public schools, is it? Or... I don't know how to enable them. Enables education institutions. They all enable it. Yeah, so if we want to go to public schools. Disallowed by state religion law in church and state. Church and... Oh, we are actually changing that anyway. So maybe once we change this, we'll be able to. Not enough sheep. Hey, we got all the sheep. They can... Um... Conquer New Zealand and get all of the sheep.
What an act on success. Yeah, we want this to pass. That's fine. Uh, we'll do that. And secret societies. Uh, yeah, we want the intelligent once again. More interest. They're quite good. Uh, after you form Italy, will you change into democracy or a different form of government? Yeah, I do want to actually want to change. Because right now we are an absolute monarchy. Which I don't really want to be. <laughs> do you have serfdom? I have no clue. Is there a way to... <laughs> There's menus I still haven't got the hang of. I'm, I'm going to be honest. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, what am I looking for? We want to go. The bitch is looking quite solid. The East India Company at the start, anyway, they're one of the best. Like, their GDP is, like, super high. They're fourth right now. Probably upgrade some of these now, look. So, yeah. Oh, no. They downgrades. Let's not do that. Paper mills. Paper bleaching. Let's see the more money. Enforce ships. Upgrade them more and see if they that's a good move or not. Uh, system will probably be under laws. Serfdom abolished. Could enable it. Yeah, it is abolished right now. I think you might be missing the taxi tribute to pass religious schools. It looks like education on the right side of the society tree. I'll have a look. Camera. Film. Socialism. Imagine it shouldn't be too far down. Oh, max education. Uh, so this is a plus one max education institution investment. So is that what we want then, maybe? India superpower, yes. Go on, then. Yeah, we have to be careful of our money luck. We are um, going to lower them even more. Consumption tax. We'll do it on grain. Is it just for the money? We need the money right now, just temporarily. Is it just a religion law? I don't know. Maybe. We'll see once this passes. Oh, it's gone down to 0%. Great. Oh, what is going on here? So the Ottoman Empire started a war to get their lands back. We don't want to enable serfdoms, no. So we have got none right now. Yeah, East Indian Company could be good because you do start insanely powerful as well, to be fair. See, how are our arms industries coming along? And we are subsidizing them. Not doing too great right now. Wood is a uh, hardwood's very expensive. So what we can do is go to our buildings, go to rural. We can enable uh, hardwood production, and hopefully that'll help our arms industries get wood hardwood cheaper. Hope. Since you're the British market, though, maybe launching a religion plays my best since it's really more inclined to give in. Maybe. Do you think I don't? <laughs> I still don't know what the best players, to be honest. Yeah, we could actually start it now and just see what happens. And we just uh, subjugation plays. Well, like 1v1s, just like take this guy on. See, how strong are they? They're quite weak. Yeah, you know what? Let's start it and see what happens. So we'll go to um, Conquer State, Tuscany. We'll see. And nobody is leaning towards my side, except from, who are you? Great Ching, why are you leaning towards me? We'll see what happens, why not?
We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll see if we can sway some people to join. I don't know why these want to join. Offer obligations, sure. Spain and uh, Tunis. Oh, France. Take treaty port against uh, Tunisia. You know what? If we can get France on our side, that's easy. Flex their muscle in Italy. Love it. Yeah, no idea why. If we can get France, we should be okay, to be honest. France are quite powerful. All right, let's advance front there. Advance front there and advance front there as well. Let's get them all to go right there, ready. Put your forms on of literacy instead of war. Would you be able to help us? Um, basically trying to unify Italy as quick as possible. Yeah, they, they, they've, they've agreed to join. I don't know why. Hopefully France will accept that offer as well. Yes, and France. I do think uh, when you played the game for like a while, there won't be enough gameplay. Like, do you feel like it's already completed the game? Oh, I've definitely not even got close to played enough. Like, it's still so much for me to learn. So, like, it is hard for me to say right now because there's still, like, so much I don't know about the game. But, yeah, maybe in um, maybe a month or two, I'll have a better answer for that. But, it's, yeah, it's just hard for me to say so far. Uh, I meant the puppet instead of conquestation. I I might back down, but then Bianca Italian won't give it to you, right? And maybe that's a good way to do a puppet first. That could work. But we're getting very lucky with who's joining our wars. They have got pressure, which is a problem, actually. I think we can still win, right? We can quickly blitz. Tuscany backs down. Yielding their primary... War goal to us. Uh, Russia just joined Austria. What do you mean? What do you mean Russia joined Austria? Yeah, we uh, they backed down. Uh, well, you. You know what? We're coming for you next as well. We're coming for everyone. We're just going to keep going, right? We'll see what happens. Wait, they like us. You like us after everything we've done? Russia's still busy, right? Oh, um... Yeah, they're still in their war. Yeah, they gave in, which is great. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fourteen. But if we go to the cultures one, oh, we can actually form Italy with uh, two more. Social credit plus 15. Yes, let's go. Uh, we need two more. Maybe a war with you again. Take Parma, actually. And th this and Parma, we might have enough. I would like to get Italy as quick as possible. I'm just going to save up reserves. We're kind of... Uh, we're not advancing so much because we're not building. But, you know, let's mess around with the war a little bit. Is it? See if we can form Italy. Vicky 3 looks like a game where it would be really fun to play as like a small constituent of major powers rather than being a major power yourself. Oh, definitely. I played my first game as the Cape Colony. So like you're under uh, Britain as what? A subject of Great Britain, so you have to pay them money and that. But it is actually a fun start. The third time I play is not like uh, Vic 2's crisis system, but worse. I haven't actually played Vic 2, so I'll, t I'll um, take your word. Check the unification play. Yeah, it could go anyway. And if we have a lot of enemies join their side, uh, it's probably quicker to then do it this way. Then uh, we need two more states. Yeah, permission. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't sure. You might have been able to. Because obviously, they let some streams go today. Oh, he's gonna get like one mil views. <laughs> yeah, that's good then. Obviously, that was fucking lucky. Why is my my phone on and start playing a video. Big pocket will be like one. Well, it's time to launch a puppet. Everyone left. Austria is busy. Do you think so? Oh yeah, Prussia fighting Austria. So is it a good idea? Do you think? 
We could push it now and maybe get away with it. I don't know, it's scary, because if we fuck up, everything we've worked for is basically lost. We could launch, uh, obviously, R Prussia is busy and Austria is. The close flag in the Italian peninsula. Let's see, what flag have they got? So how can I just get to them? Try it. Uh, you can back down. Yes, go. What do you get from four minutes today? I don't know if we get anything special, but oh, I've never done it before. So hopefully we'll find out, right? I was just busy. Do it. All right. This is on you if we fail. If we fail, it's on you guys. Just saying that right now. Your fault. If we fuck up. Oh, fuck. Nobody wants to help us. I'm not going to do war reparations from anyone because that means we have to carry on the war. Um, Unify Italy is good enough for me. If we fail, no one's going to help us. You know that, don't you? Like, everyone's on their side. I guess it's a bad idea. So, yeah, so do I. <laughs> Nobody wants to help us now, even though every other war they wanted to help us. The Great Ching is folk is more likely to go on their side. Imagine not playing Victor. Yeah, I never played that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll do more Vic 2 streams in the future. Oh, we can sway. Who, who, who? France. Uh, offer make to me. Offer make puppet. They want to make Palmer. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, do we accept that? I think we need help, right? We can get them on. We get France on our side. No, we're doing the unification play, so uh, we're trying to unify Italy. Make it a puppet, so France will get some land. We won't have all of Italy, but it's fine. Right, let's get our military generals now to advance front there. I'm gonna get them all to stick together. And you should back down launch, do you think so? Because then if we back down, we have to pay war reparations and that. I think we just go for it. Too much infamy, true. France are on our side. We can get Russia. Conquer state. Uh, they're going to conquer that little state there, though. Russia will. We should offer it to them, right? If we can get Russia on our side. It's, it's unlucky. We may have to go to war with Russia in the future. But I think we can get this. If we get Russia and France... Oh, we got, we got, we got Russia. Wait, wouldn't it mean you don't have enough states? I don't actually know how this is going to work either, to be honest. We'll see how it goes. So we're offering, basically, France a puppet and Russia some land. I don't know how it's going to work, but I guess our war goals is unify Italy. Or stay from Austria. Can't you offer Russia Summit Stream? They only ever accept uh, this for some reason. But as long as Britain now or uh, Prussia doesn't get involved, I think we're okay. You know what? I think we got this. Yeah, after this stream now, I'll spend a few days learning the game more. Um, and I will definitely do some more videos on the game, see how it goes. Hi, somebody. We're about to launch. We're, we're in the middle of launching a massive war to try and unify Italy. Please end. We don't want anyone else. Unless Britain will join. This is a good experiment. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's uh, new anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure if we do need more states. We'll see. Oh, they got. Is that Egypt? Oh, no. It's close. It's very close. And no one else. No one else join them. Please. Okay. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's worth it, but I think it's always good to test. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see what happens. They're worried. Look, they know. You know, units in the in front. I was hoping... Yeah, if we um, put them all here... 
they would like march up and do it themselves, do you think? Because it looks like we are there now. Oh, Russia's doing it. Hmm. Maybe we'll keep pushing this and get Russia and that to push this side, maybe. Uh, Egypt. Um, I think Egypt is out of that war now, yeah. How's this game so far? I mean, I've had a great time playing it. But yeah, I'm still learning a lot. We'll see. Maybe we'll have to go and help them. Right here, we have... Who's fighting? Allies. Who? Russia and France are there. Against Austria and uh, Moderna. Keep an eye on that. We may have to send some units up there. But, like, we're just winning this. The war has broken out. So, it's two Sicilies, us. Uh, France and Russia. And then we have Sardinia, Austria, Parma, Algeria, uh, Tunis, uh, Luca, Lucia, uh, Moldena, and Egypt. Oh, so if we lose, I think we actually lose the ability. We lose the ambition to unify Italy and they liberate Rome. Be fun to watch as well. Thank you, uh, man. I do appreciate that. Yeah, we'll hope, it, we'll hope this risk pays off. I mean, you got to try, right? Still new game. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Can state religion change? Um, I haven't, I'm not too sure, to be honest. I haven't played around with, like, the religion stuff. Oh, the music's intense. Can you hear that? Oh, it's just stopped. All right, then. The music went really intense and I was getting into it and it just stopped. It just stopped as soon as I said it. Right, let's see. How's this going? We're winning on every front but this one up here. But if we can destroy these two, we should be good. I think this will be um, to our advantage. We'll get our admirals to uh, raid convoys. Anyone's convoys? Sardinia, Austria, and Egypt. Yeah, raid there then. You also. Let's see. Raid up here. We'll get as many affected as we can. They're right there as well. You got blue balled by the music. I know, right? Uh, what, shouldn't use your Egypt. Yeah, but I'm going to use it to raid convoys. Is that the right thing to do, do you think? So, uh, it reduces their supply network. Oh, we're winning on every single front now. Come on, this can actually win. Sweden has refused to become the protectorate of Russia. We'll see how it goes. We've been on every single front, which is great. My game is starting to like uh, lag a bit now. I don't know if it's because I'm streaming as well. I didn't have this issues, and I've definitely played later on this in bigger wars. Um, so yeah, it may not help that we are uh, streaming. I am looking to upgrade my PC next year, though. Because uh, I could definitely do with a more upgraded one. See, we're on every front. Maybe we'll try five speed. I don't know. Come on, this could this could be fantastic if we can do this. Why did I don't yeah, I don't know if you can directly stop, but you can raid convoys. I guess this is the closest, unless I'm missing something. Let's see. We have lost 150 thousand. They've lost 130. This war has already cost us two million. I'm really interested in the front warfare mechanic. It sounds like a welcome change from endlessly chasing armies around CK3. I agree. Um, I think it works in this game. Although if it was in like CK3, I wouldn't like it. But I think for more of like an economy sim, it works, right? So you can put them down. They break off into their little fights. Austria's winning that. All the little fights break out. So yeah, I was thinking a bunch of convoys. Egyptian, Austrian, more Austrian. So our naval stuff's working. Come on, Russia. But you're losing all the fight, even though you have an advantage. Why? I don't know why. We're still advancing both ways up here, though, it seems. This might actually work. And I'm quite shocked if it does. Come 
Five speed big walls seem to um wait, what happened? Why are we losing here now? Why is there no units? What's going on? Um is the line of your arms factories going up though? Is the line of your arms factory? What do you mean? Go build in. What do you want to check? Urban, is it? Urban, urban, urban. Arms. What do you mean the line? I don't know. Oh. How can I? Can't. Yeah. What do you mean? The... I don't know what you're looking for, but. Yeah, I don't know why we've got zero troops here now, even though they're advancing front there. They've all moved here, have they? Hmm, what's going on? Why have they... Stop... Oh, oh, massive profit. Oh. Apparently not, no. They don't seem to be making that much money. For some reason. I don't know why. I thought they would make more, but they don't seem to be. Though the stuff is quite expensive. Victory will solve the problem of armies running across territory without a traditional rival. So I'm trying to see... Why? We have no units. Okay, we have units here again now. They're about 50% war support. Okay. Uh, France is doing their thing on this side. Look, France is absolutely shredding their defenses over here. There's some wars going on down here as well with France. Imagine not watching Snap Strategy. I was like, of all the people who have the game, I probably um, know the least, let's be honest. <laughs> but we're learning. I'm sure we're learning together, right? Hopefully. Let's we'll see if this works. Uh, where have they gone? Bot, fucking hell. Is it... I think YouTube would be able to work out what's a bot message and not by now. We're winning though, so we'll just five speed in a minute. Uh, keep an eye and make sure our generals are still advancing. France is still doing great over here, look, pushing through. Their wall support is crumbling. We're, we're sinking a bunch of convoys as well. Let's just let it tick a minute. Oh, what is this? Austria's moved their troops here. Austria's finished their other war, and now Austria's coming for, uh, coming for revenge. Italian moment. Yeah, Austria, uh, oh, don't lose us this now. Come on, France, get here. We really need France to get here, to be honest, because we're not winning this. Draw, oh, imagine not liking the stream. <laughs> My main problem with the warfare system is that it's going towards doesn't affect your economy like it did in Vic 2. Like, the Navy seems unimportant, even though it should be very important. There may be more to it than I'm showing. I'm just still getting to grips with it. It's expensive, like, military wages. We don't have a big military, though. you got to realize. Our military is not very big either. So, uh, that could affect it. But Austria's here now, and we're in trouble. We need France to come and help. We haven't had a single rebellion yet. No, we haven't. Oh, the music stopped. I thought the game crashed. I'm actually more conscript. Are they all up? I think they may all be up. Yeah, they're all basically there. Hmm, what's the plan? What are your signs? So they're all doing their thing. Defend front. You have no way to push out numbers like that. We set them all to defend, is it? And just hold. Wait for them to be able to like, defend front you too. Once we can change this guy's order, we'll get you to defend as well. He is currently engaged in battle. Maybe if we, yeah, if, maybe if we defend, we can just kill many of them. Come on, stop being engaged in battle, please. How long is this battle going on for? We are five speeding right now. Guys, please, let me, let me click defend. 
Proper in his... Oh, right. Defend. Right. Get you to defend as well. So they all defend in front now. We'll see how it goes. Their wall support is... Yeah, quite low. Minus 2% because the wall... Uh, the enemy controls 100% of their wall goals. Is that correct? I don't think that's correct, is it? But the French are making their way. So if we can hold out... The French are destroying everyone in their way. Now it looks like, yeah, we are starting to defeat them. So if we can defend... Well, there's a problem up here, but... We may lose some land until the French save us. Unless we can get their war score to drop. Make peace. Unify Italy. No, they won't accept that still. Yeah, I want to re-mention what I said earlier. If you want some Vic uh, 3 multiplayer games, maybe join the Discord and I'll, may I'll maybe get some set up soon. If any of you do want to join in some multiplayer, we do it for CK3 and we have like a decent list of rules as well to try and make it fun. So it does sound interesting. Do check out the Discord. Because anyone's free to join our multiplayer games. The music, why? We're actually still pushing forward even though we're defending. Wait, what happened? Wait, wait, wait. Did Ost... Austria and Egypt just pulled out. Austria and Egypt basically surrendered and said they're not doing this anymore. Oh, this is easy. We've got this now. The French are crossing the Alps with the elephants. Yes. Yeah, uh, we've won, basically. Their two biggest allies just pulled out. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. All right. Advance front. Let's get advancing then. Let's get all these guys charging. Yeah, so the allies basically thought, nah, pulled out. So hopefully we get to unify Italy now. I'm happy enough to five-speed it now. Their war support's going to drop. Uh, Austria stopped damaging relations. Viva Italia, yes. I'm surprised how far close we are to it. I didn't prepare for this stream like... <laughs> I didn't do like a test run like I wanted to. Just didn't have any time. Yeah, easy. We got this. Their wall support is flying down. What's the numbers looking like? <sighs> Bloody hell. We've lost almost half a million people. They've lost 92,000. See, kids, that's why you keep gambling. Yes. Sponsored by steak.com. I'm joking. <laughs> Look at this, though. Fine, it is expensive. Fuck that. Yeah. They pulled out. I'm not sure what effects they had. I think you, uh... Missed the front just then. What do you, you mean? Oh, down here. It's only front... Yeah, it's the, these ones right now. Once we take all this... There's one going on down here. For some reason, I think it's Tunis and uh, France fighting. But France are winning that as well. So yeah, now you've seen more war system. Maybe give me some updated thoughts. I'm actually interested to know. Me personally, I enjoy it. There is some issues. Like if a general dies in battle, uh, the units return home. I think that might be a bug. A uh, bug. But there is some issues. But I, just, I personally think it fits a game like Victoria 3, right? Although, like, I can fully understand why people might not like it. Well, that is that reduce your troop level, save some money. Well, do you think I should just maybe, um, send a guy home, is it? Maybe stand someone down? Are there any pan-national rebels still? I think, I think, I, I'm, well, I'm quite surprised we haven't had a rebellion. We had one I like, come up earlier when we went to uh, enact a uh, law, but we stopped. But yeah, I'm surprised we haven't had any rebellions. Considering we've uh, done a lot of war, I thought that would affect it, but maybe not. We're just going to five speed right now then. They're about to lose 80%. We've lost a lot of men, but didn't matter. We've won. War goals in force. Unify Italy. So what's happened now then? Unpressed war goals. Unify Italy. Wait, what's going on? 
So we still have to beat Tunis to fully do it. For some reason. So let's advance front then. Let's get all our troops down here then. Whatever. Let's just get two units down there. I think it's actually that bad, actually. The warfare system seems even more boring than this. But do you think so? But I, I, I can't fully understand both sides of it, to be honest. I get it. Let's go. We're going to advance the front down here then. Beat Tunis. Make them get peace as well. And then we'll see. Are we Italy? I don't know. They will sport almost dropping those. It should end. Uh, 84. Let's go. Come on. Let's just end it. Oh, the revolution. There is a revolution coming. We'll... Sicily, Calabria... Uh, 90%. As soon as I said this, it came up. Why are they rebelling? Why are they trying to overthrow the government? You can focus more on enjoying the peace. Yeah, true. I just realized that one of your generals... Yeah, we had an event and he appeared. And we could um, either hire, hire him as a general or a politician. But I put a vote out and uh, people wanted... Should we stop enabling this then? Stop the revolution? I don't think this is for the education thing. So I don't think we need it. We need to finish the technology. So let's try and fix the revolution. Because uh, that uh, law is not actually important to us as we thought. I thought it made for pretty intense... Well, yeah, that, that, mm, yeah... Uh, <laughs> It's hard. I don't know. Um, I, can, cause I, I can fully understand why you might love it or you might hate it. Okay, so we're this big now. So now what? Form Italy. Oh shit, we did it. Let's go. Italy. Oh, this is scuffed Italy. It's my Italy, right, guys? Maybe scuffed. We did it. Formed Italy. Have I researched it? Have I? I'll have a look now. Uh, maybe I'll check. Oh, shit. No. Have I not researched it? I'm so confused how we do it. To be honest, unlock the institutions education thing. You know what? We actually formed Italy. I'm so happy. I didn't think we'd do it, to be honest. <laughs> Viva Italia. Yes. Now, it may be scuffed. Maybe little. Maybe weird shaped. France may own some of it. Actually, why did we not have to give Russia the land? Or France, did we? No. I've never played EU4, so I honestly don't know how to talk, and I got to but I don't have it all. We just had no chance against Austria, right? <laughs> so we just need Lombardy. Is, it? Is that all we really need to get a proper shape? <laughs> but yeah, I didn't really think we'd even get close to it. I haven't, like, delved proper into the war. Get by creating laws. So it is laws, then. Hmm. Hmm. What would it be then? Education. No schools. It's got to be this. And we can't enable it for... Who knows? It's Viva Talia. Yeah, I'm so hyped we actually did it. We've actually formed Italy. We don't have all the... It's weird because you can... Do this. You can form Italy and become Italy before this. But we have the Italian flag with a crown. Is that because we're a monarchy maybe? So we have the crown on our flag. Oh, GDP as well. Look at that. Skyrocketed. Eighth in the world, our GDP. We're ninth in the world uh, ranking-wise. Uh, inventor, inventor. So, so yeah, there's a few more we would need to get to get a full... You can see them all right here. So there's this one. Uh, there. That one there. And Lombardy. Right there. So there's about three more there we need to get. Yo, I might, I, <clears throat> can we? Let's see. If we go to diplomatic play. Well, now we are notorious. 55 is actually not that bad. Why can't we conquer stay on them? Let's see. What is the issue stopping us? 
We have a truce until... For another five years, you have a truce. Right, you know what? Oh, we have an achievement. I just unlocked an achievement. I don't know if you can see it. The achievement is form the nation of Italy. So, um... Here's a Savoy flag. Kind of strange that it's formed. It's not a Savoy. Yeah, I don't know what the flag is. I guess monarchy is that. I don't know what this is. Right. Overlord. Why is Great Britain our overlord? Wait, we're a subject of Great Britain. Will we always a subject? Huh? Is, is it because we joined their custom union? I don't know why we're a subject otherwise. Market much. Should we break free from them then and see what happens? Or should we just use their security for now, build up more military for the next five years, fix some of our relations, and see if we can um, finish? Let's get pressure. Stop. How about Russia? And in five years' time, once our truce ends, we can finish Italy. That's what I want to do, and then we, we'll end stream about then. But I want to at least get Italy, right? Or at least I want to try. You know, five years. We can just go five speed, improve relations, maybe build some more barracks, get our military up, get our supplies up, and do the big war against Austria. I think that's a good plan. To so improve relations with uh, Spain and Prussia, can we do maybe... Why can't we? Are they, they already like us, I think. A suburb of Piedmont, Savoy is the same, just without the blue. Oh, fair. Yeah, not sure the... So know when I was playing as Britain, uh, not for the video before that, we became a republic and then our flag went like green and stuff. Uh, you know the original everyone but Britain is hurt. Do you think so? Should I check? Uh, how can I see why they like me? So, let's just look at France. France are cooperative. This is a potential friend. But relations, neutral, plus 14. If I hover over, will it say why? No? Hmm. Let's see, maybe we can make an ally or something as well. Protectora, take on debt. Customs union. Could leave. Is it good leaving though before we do the big war? Uh, to return your economy so you won't have to equipment resource soldiers once you leave the British market. I'm going to say you did get... Yes, I definitely got it. Just don't look up there. You know, yeah, so maybe we'll stay in their market for now. Because right now they're kind of uh, supporting our economy with this war. Then maybe first, if we just stay with them, we're kind of safe economy-wise to take on Austria, right? Yeah, we did unlock uh, trains. Uh, our infrastructure is bad, though, so we will build some railway, uh, railways. Fix that. We'll get two on each one for now and see if that fixes the problem. Uh, we'll build up two in each one. And we can also, if we... Let me just do this a sec. What we can do is uh, see these guys that are low. We go to diplomatic lens, I think. No. Uh, political decrees and road maintenance. We can't do it though. Why? Don't have enough authority, but we can boost um, in, uh, infrastructure. Sure doesn't show, but I'm guessing with the continued effects in your relation, Dan doesn't want to make Britain richer by supporting you. Don't know if this England works. True, it could work like that. Colony time. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, right now, I think we just save money. Um... Let me upgrade anything. Skirmish. And the skirmish. Which what? What's the effect of skirmish? So, red line infantry, plus 20 offense and plus 30 defense. Plus 30, 35. So, they are, they are just better. They train better. Yeah, okay. Skirmish infantry it is, though. Buy again one day, jam uh, Oh, but uh, have you incorporated? Oh, I don't think so, actually. I think up to here, I, oh, we incorporate you guys. They, they've been incorporated. You. See, you. Yeah, should be all of them then once they're incorporated. 
Teach your simpletons to read. Yeah, it's slowly going up. Yeah, we don't need books. We need guns. We, we, we go to war. Maybe we can unlock rifling before our next war as well. Uh, probably be a good shout. So yeah, our market access hopefully should be fixed now as well. Turn on the tax waste. It should be fixing himself. Once that infamy drops and we don't go to war for a little while. So our leader is Imperius. So he helps with radicals actually. Plus 20% authority. Expedition opportunity. And command limit. Now we're losing loads of money all of a sudden. Why? What's changed? It's probably just the buildings. Yeah. That's fine. But yeah. In four years, we're going to do the final war. But right now, we're just going to five speed it there. Build our stuff and see how it goes. You know, this is the final way. We either, we either do it well or we just fail. But either way, you know, we tried. So Lombardy, that, nah. there's four states we need to get. Four mil radicals though, yeah, radicals are insane. It, oh, it's actually going down though, luck. Since last year it's decreased, um, pops die in events, oh, most of them because they died, but we have increased standard of living. We're unlock rifling as well. Um, it is starting to go down, I guess. Yeah, we're just going to go full military economy right now. We need to save a bit of our chest up. Yeah, I don't know how we haven't, to be honest. It is going down, I guess. Look, slowly. But yeah, we're just going to... All we're planning on right now, we've got three years left until we can do the big war. So let's just prepare for that. We'll see how it goes, right? I mean, we, we've defied all odds so far, right? You know, <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Our GDP is 30 mil as well. It's pretty good. We're eighth worldwide. Literacy is slowly going up now. We're 167th worldwide. Uh, uh, they're below 4 mil now. They're going back up, down, up, down, up. Loyalists are growing as well. Hmm. Well, I wonder why we really want to make an alliance with someone. Like, why won't France ally me? Uh, base reluctance. Uh, they're greater power. Infamy level is infamous. Yeah, infamy is not helping us get allies. Wait, Serbia exists now. You're able to make new countries like Serbia. Well, if we um go to game set, uh, the game rules, we have formable nations on all. There is ones which is just historical, which I'm not sure if it's just like historical by this time period, or you can use all. So I don't know exactly what nations are formable. You need iron and sulfur. I'm pressing a wall that is finally too much to win. I, I thought the last war was too much to win, to be honest with you. I'm not going to lie. I thought we were going to lose that. Uh, kind of one alliance per nation. I don't think we have an alliance yet, though, do we? I don't think so. No, we don't. I don't know what I'm sometimes. Oh, yeah, I just read that. Yeah, so, um. This is what I was talking about. Someone, someone asked me earlier, what's the biggest bug I've experienced? These two icons stayed on my game before and I couldn't get rid of them. Um, that is something I encountered before. And also, I did crash twice today, but. So far, it's been okay. We want to build up some reserves. I'm going to build up. Let's see. Uh, if we go to. Canneries, let's see. What stuff we can upgrade, let's do it. Should hopefully help our economy. Uh, take a more iron or steel. Let's see. Water two boiler. Get water two boiler. So people are out of jobs, basically. Water two boilers are great. Hopefully that should helpfully correct itself and work. Uh, let's go to a military. First aid. We need fabric and opium. Yeah, I think we can actually afford that, right? Let's do it for all of them. 
Do you, know, do you have to do it for all of them, or is there a way to do it for... Hmm, I don't know. Because they're not even on skirmish. One of them all to be skirmish artillery. Um, get more information to decay if you want to improve relations with... I think you would get more information to decay if you... Well, does it affect it? Does it? Hmm. The main reason I'm doing that is I'm hoping we can... If they like us enough... Um, they might join on our side, or just not join theirs. If me, if you decay, okay, four minutes here would probably be fun. Yeah, they are chilling. Uh, this needs to be addressed. No. We'll see, though. We're, we're almost there. We've got three years. About, well, about two now, about. Naples, the capital of Italy. Let's see. We should hopefully unlock rifling as well. I'd be, I'd be happy with that. Um, is there anything else I want to build, or do I want to build more barracks and just... Yeah, I'm going to build more barracks. Um, mainly because this is going to be a big war. If we can just have more units, more boots on ground. Right, I think that's a good way. Just cut all my units in each one. See if we can support them. You get more info to decay by having your diplomatic points in reserve. Oh, interesting. Okay. I can upgrade these quite a lot and see how it goes. Okay, well, at least five. Oh, uh, when you're war officer, you could get pressure on your side. Some land promise, I think. So these guys like us enough now, but we'll stop and we'll see if it um, makes us our thing DK enough. Ooh, alliance. <gasps> guys, 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 you're seeing this. Um, yeah, because um, we need, uh, what is it? Influence to actually form alliances. It's saying we can get Britain or Spain. Why would they not accept? Why are they coming up? Oh, that is sad. Why are they coming up green then? Right? Why, why would it come up green? What the hell? This game out already. It comes out tomorrow. We can't actually get in line to well that just ruined my day. I thought we fine. You're gonna go bankrupt. Yeah, I hope not. <laughs> We're just gonna go full military and hope for the best. It's gonna be a big war. If we can just have enough money in reserves um to survive this war. Put the taxes up. Fuck the people. If we can just get enough money and reserves to last out the one war, we can remove a lot of them when we have Italy, right? We just build up our reserves. Just We just need it to last us a war, I think. Toria being a tease. Yeah, I thought it was green. I thought that could mean I could get an alliance, right? That would make sense. Yo, Kobe, thank you, man. I hope you're having a nice day. Oh, what is this? Um... There's a revolt going on. We're going to stay out of that. I can't believe that, though. I was so hyped. Comes up, but then it won't do it. Minus 39. Base reluctance. Uh, they have more power. Only minus 2 for that. Ideology differences. I think level is infamous. So that's 10. Yeah, I don't think we're ever going to get in line to them. We've unlocked rifle in, so I think. Is it these we can, or is it we have to go to our arms industries? Rural, uh, urban, sorry. And find our arms, 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 where are they? And we can do rifles now. We can we're actually produce in rifles. Alliance with Brazil, I don't think we can. Uh, that's minus 120. Cracked Ottomans, yeah. Get industry for expensive things in your market. More people equals uh, more money. Get industry for expensive things in your market. Or well, like upgrade my industry stuff. Like uh, buildings and such. Uh, raise the taxes. Fuck the people. Spoken like a true world leader. Hey. <laughs> Conscription. War. Exhaustion from casualties. Field hospitals. Uh, naval yeah, you know what? 
War exhaustion. Yeah, I had exhaustion once in a war, and my army was just terrible because they were all exhausted. So that's actually a good thing to unlock. Um, it's going to be expensive military to hold, but if we can just get enough in reserves to last us the one war, we may be okay. Uh, zoom in and roam again. Yeah, I can't remember how it was at the start. That's how it is now. I don't know why it looks like that. Why does it look like that? It's like smelling. What? What's happened? Why, why is everything like... It's a fire or is that like stench? No, yeah, because it's like scaffolding luck going down. The scaffolding of things being built. I don't know what all this is though. Are they like smoke from the factories? Maybe. Once these are all built, we have a military of 117 with 41 uh, conscripts. 118. You got police. I don't think so. I think it might be level one. Do you know worth upgrading? It's going to cost us how much bureaucracy? Uh, we might as well, actually. Yeah, upgrade the uh, law enforcement. Helps with uh, penalties from turmoil. So it's probably worth it. Smog, yeah, that's what I was thinking, maybe. Just shit from the factories. If I'm looking at those numbers directly, removing your infamy and improving your rations with Britain, plus 50, will leave you minus 4 for an alliance. I think we are max rations with them, though, I think. We can't actually improve rations anymore. So, yeah, not too sure quality of life being low. Is that what it is? Back after war or devastation? Okay, there could be a few things then. Yeah, I did just look at that for the defensive pack, but they also won't take that by like minus 100. It doesn't actually seem uh, too likely, sadly. Okay, let's build up our reserves. We're going to need a lot of money in the, in the bank for this war, I think. Let's see, we're not constructing anything. I know this is not the best way to play, but like, it's not like we're playing like the whole game. Our one goal is form Italy, so I think this is why we're playing this way. Um, I'm sure we'll um, maybe one day have a, either a... I want to play as Wales, right? So one day I will play as Wales, and I'll do like either try and become the highest GDP or take over Britain or something like that. Turmoil is because the goods in that state are expensive from market access, generally expensive in the Italian market. So if we've got market, if we go trade routes... You see, um, things are expensive. Services, which is bad. Wood, clothes, furniture, tools. Yeah, things are quite expensive right now on the British market. Yeah, dark. I don't think we can get any allies, which is... um. They want us to join the Spanish market. No. Um. Yeah, I would usually... um. Typically, at this point, start building these things to try and fix the minuses. But like I said, our one goal right now is form Italy, right? Um... Maybe next stream, yeah, Wales. I'll start as Wales, maybe. And our plan is to grow to the number one on the GDP and maybe take over, maybe reform the Celtic nations, do you think? So we can take Ireland, uh, Cornwall, Brittany. That could be fun. Uh, there's probably some Vic guides. Yeah, I haven't made any myself, but there will be some tomorrow, I imagine. Anything to ask gold cap? Yeah, we got, we're up to five out of seven. But we might not actually hit it before the war starts. And having like 6-7 mil in reserves uh, uh, will be good. Yeah, you should build more stuff. But how much is our military going to cost, do you think, once we raise them all? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, so we can go to war in one year. Yeah, it might, dry, it might be bad, but I don't know what we're like on our own. So I might just stay with them just to see this out. Because if we leave and then like it's even worse, we may be uh, in trouble. If you hover over the quality of life in the top left, hover the industrial status of the quality of life. Tell you, or is that actually going to the state and just seeing... Um, should say standard of living, is it? So we've got Rome. Where's Rome? I am on Rome. Standard of living is impoverished. But yeah, it's actually above what they expect. I don't know if it is a Celtic thing, but that could actually be a fun gameplay, I think. What are you paying subsidies for? I think it was my furniture or something at the start. I don't think I ever stopped it. 
Yeah, it's not costing anything though, but yeah. Mobile game power just makes everything so soulless. It's like a mobile game. How much are you getting paid? Well, for this stream, nothing. How much I get paid for this? Like, I mean, I'm enjoying the game. I know some people watching have, but I've agreed with people that if they don't like the wall system, I can see that, to be honest. Like, I know the wall system will be like a love or hate thing, right? Like, some people will love it. I could just the culture map of Europe. I would do that. I, I'm still not used to everything in this game. Uh, maybe click cultures, right? There we are. So we have Irish, Scottish, Welsh, English, of course, Breton, French, Spanish, uh, Catalan, Portuguese. Obviously, uh, a bit of a mix. This is dumb. What, in what way? It doesn't have... An, yeah, I don't know. Some people seem quite mad. I think it's mainly from the war system, right? I can see that being the only problem people may hate. Which is fair enough, to be honest. Uh, thank you, Average Funk Enjoy. I do appreciate that. But you know, I do fully understand, like, I get it. I'm paying 5k subsidies. Let's have a look. I'm subsidizing tooling workshops. Let's have a look. Yeah, I guess it's tooling workshops now, which I guess we might as well keep subsidizing. Let me see the culture of the province. I've got each one. You can if you click on it, right? It is a way somewhere population. So you can see uh, here is North uh, Italian, 100%. Uh, I dislike the diplomacy system. What, like, um, it's the way you interact with the countries, or? Yeah, there's a lot of turmoil, but we're just ignoring them, because like I said, our one goal, we're, we're taking Italy. We're almost at full reserves, which is good. I wanted that. And soon we can declare war. Against these guys for the land we need. Let's conquer state. Yeah, we got uh, 14th of March. Coming for warfare DLC. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't mind the DLC, uh, the warfare, but I can get why some people pretty much hate it. Unused construction production. What is this? Oh, it's construction sectors. Yeah, we're going to ignore that. I guess. Maybe we'll build more garrisons, is it? Maybe. A few more, because we got enough money now. Why not? Let's just go full warfare. And then at the end, uh, once the war's over, we can tune it down a bit and remove some of them. Is there no more spheres of influence or influence mechanics? Was that all stuff in uh, Vic 2? Because, yeah, I haven't... Um, Never went back and played Vic 2. I was considering it, but I never did. Okay, we'll, we'll build more barracks. We'll uh, get that going. And we'll start this war and hopefully win January, February, March. We'll wait for these to finish building and then we'll start the war and see how it goes. Uh, Diplomatic Actions, Alliance, still these two, and it's going to refuse. Those are Vic 2 things right here, I thought so. Yeah, I've never got uh, background to uh, play in it. I'm not the most prepared, but we've got decent-ish military now, 137. I think we're ready. Let's just go for it and see what happens. We either successfully do it or we fail right at the end, but we still did become Italy. So I guess we... Did most of what we need. Conquer state. So we want that. But we need to add war goals. We can sway Britain and Spain. Okay, this might be okay. But we need to add war goals. Uh, conquer state. Which ones is it we need? Hmm. Can I not just choose any state? Because we want the states for Italy, right? Hmm. I thought I'd be able to just choose any state. Conquer state. Lombardy, we need that one. Is that that one? We need that one. Oh, we've got Lombardy, that's why I think I've just been stupid. Uh, Conquer state, is it ones that I just got to... Let me check the journal, make sure we get the right ones. 
So, uh, we need that one as well. Istria, is it? Because and that is a war goal as well. Is that all of them, the four we need? I think it might be. Uh, so it's uh, Vainter, Lombardy. So, yeah, that's all the ones we need. Okay, so let's go to our military. We're going to activate conscripts, all of them. Start raising our military straight away. Maybe upgrade our generals now as well. Promote our generals so they can hold more units each. It's going to cost us some bureaucracy. But let's just upgrade them, to be honest. Make them better as well, I guess. We'll see. So upgraded a fair amount. Why don't we promote them more? Keep promoting them. Does it really matter? They just become better or what? No, but I think that's enough. Uh, look your infamy. Infamy is not... Ooh, fuck. Yeah, we're over 100 now, which is risky business. Don't want to go over 100. Hmm. Okay, France was... Uh, Britain was at one point aiming towards joining me, but now they're not. Anybody else? Please? I'll literally give you anything. Come on, no way. No one's helping us. Oh no. That's awful that no one's helping us now. At one point, it was showing Britain, but I think because our infamy maybe ticked uh, the next impulse. They're like, no way. We need a strong ally. Uh, promoting your general gives their political group more influence. Oh, so they're very influential now as well. I know it can let them hold more units, but I think they are full. Oh, I'm begging, please. Someone just sway towards me. Britain, please, 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 please. Is there anything we can do for Britain, do you think? Offer obligations, please. If Britain joined, we could win. Just Britain, to be honest. Nope. Okay, so basically nobody else joined in. Uh, which is bad for us, because I think Austria are going to absolutely destroy us, right? <laughs> That much infamy, of course, nobody's helping. Yeah, uh, this war has tipped us up a lot. But at one point, it was showing Britain, but they decided, nope. Fair enough. Raid convoys. There. And ra uh, raid convoys. There. What even is an obligation? Obligations are these. So, like, um, with uh, obligations, they can basically come to you and ask for something. Like, a favor kind of thing. Back down. Do you think or do you think we just go for it, to be honest? So yeah, obligation you back. They basically can ask a favor. <laughs> we load this loss. I reckon we just go. I'll probably end stream ish anyway soon. We've mostly got Italy. So then I can uh, get my son to bed because uh, yeah, it's past him until about nine. It's a bit. It's about twenty past eight now. So I think we just go for this war and see what happens, right? Uh, no, there's no chance we win this, is there? But we we got. Uh, you can't take them. This game looks sick. I can't even. Uh, it's pre-release stream. Go for it. Yeah, I think if we just go for it, because I'm gonna end stream it within the next soon-ish anyway. So if we just go for it, we see what happens. We've got most of Italy anyway. If we lose. They just want to liberate Tuscany. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll probably lose. So we have no allies, but we'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll just go for it, to be honest. Make generals defend. Yeah, that's what I was about to do. Maybe put defense. Maybe we can um, kill a lot of them, maybe. That was the point level of diplomacy. Yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll probably lose, but... You know what? We, we were undefeatable for quite a while. So it makes sense. Yeah, they have more defense. They have more units as well. Austria have a great military.
Maybe at one point we can just conquer Lombardy and they just accept just that and we take that. Maybe that could work. How many units do they have? About 400. So I was going to say... Maybe we get one through a naval invasion. I don't think invasion come out. I've never seen war go completely sideways. Time to find out. <laughs> yeah. We could try a naval invasion. You know what? Should we try that? See what happens? I don't know. Maybe that could help. Maybe, like, relieve some of the pressure here. I'm going to try it. I think we, are, we have nothing to lose right at this point. It's like a naval invasion this side of the border with... That guy's unit. Let's see how that goes. We'll lose more here, but if they can just hold out a little bit... Mobilize conscripts. I think they are mobilized. Yeah, only half of them at time. Um, so we have got our conscripts, mostly. We're going to do a naval invasion. See if we can just push past behind them. It's probably our best bet. But I don't mind losing. I think we were we, we did quite well anyway. Better than I expected, to be honest. We've got most of Italy, which I'm glad about. Just looks a bit weird because we're missing this shape here. But we really need to, uh, yeah, um, conquer some of their land to drop their war, score, uh, war support. Otherwise, we're in trouble, basically. See how many days? Where is he? Are you standing by? What happened? Did they just stop? Did they fail? Usually I get like... Uh, I don't know if cutting them off made more sense. Yeah, but I think we need to... Um, if we don't take any of their land, they won't go below zero war support. Uh, maybe the problem was using the conquest. Maybe... Is there a unification cast Bella? I don't know if we still have one anymore. Um, maybe maybe it'll be back in the cultures thing. And not that I know of, to be honest. I think there is one. But we did that war, but then it took on all the lesser states joined us because they're bigger. Don't think it works on those. We'll try one more naval invasion once we can. I don't know where it went. It just disappeared. Maybe try over here. Promoked. Maybe he just takes loads of the ships. Yeah, this is a bit scuffed. But if he does that, he has more ships. I don't have many ships. That is our problem for our naval invasions. But he's holding a lot more of them now. Because look, we're going to get intersected by 20. So let's just try there one more time with your men. Uh, odds are they're going to get taken out. So this is probably uh, a loss, but that's fine. We tried. Still learning. See, 31 days. Yeah, it looks like they're going to take it out by their navy before they can actually land and attack. Oh, if we could have one ally, we would have steamrolled this. Look, their troops are dropping. But I'm trying to cause trouble for them, basically. Four days, three days, two, one, and go. Where are they going to appear? Usually they appear fighting. Um, I can't see them. I'm missing something? Preparing. Where are they? Usually you see them fighting, but they don't seem to be there. Patrolling coast. I don't know what is going on. All right, then. We're going to have to defend front and see how that goes. Whilst we have no other of learning. Yeah, so I mean, I wanted to do it like, you know, uh, I probably I thought we were probably going to lose that original war we've done to unify Italy, but we won. So it's, it's good to learn that way. Like, there's still so much for me to learn in this game. So it's just trying things out right you know sometimes it'll work sometimes it won't but that's how you learn i'm pretty um happy we got most of italy i didn't even expect to get much of it but you know what we did we did actually get italy which is great well look at that our armies are breaking out into much smaller wars so if we can keep beating their army like this we can just whittle down their numbers a lot yeah this is the final war we do so we either win on a high or we end on a big low and then I'll definitely go off and learn some more before I either stream or make more gameplay. But if we can keep breaking out into stuff we can win like this, this actually might turn it into our favor. We're defending, we're getting very favorable battles. 
see? So this actually could work. As long as it's quick enough. Because then we need to start taking some of their land. Um, flip the wall. Because we can't do naval uh, invasions. So yeah, it's giving us fight fights we can win. But it's still just too many of them, right? So I guess we just hold this out a bit longer and see if we kill enough of them. Let's go to the... Uh, we've lost 74,000. They've lost 221,000. For some reason, the wars cost us a lot more. I'm not sure why. Yeah, look at our money. Our money is flying down. So yeah, we might run out of money now. <laughs> this war, uh, Every other war went so quick, right? Uh, this war, not so much. We might have to start advancing soon. So our money is... Yeah, we're about to actually run out of money, guys. Oh, we're going to have to start advancing, I think. As soon as this battle's over and just see if we can win. Hmm. Oh, God. Because our wall support's going to absolutely plummet. Uh, mostly, you just have to hope that someone else picks fight the Austria or they bankrupt themselves. Yeah. Because uh, we're about to bankrupt... Uh, I think we've bankrupt ourselves. <laughs> hmm. Not good. Uh, debt a little bit. Yeah, but we're like... Uh, yeah, more modern military. Yeah, maybe that's why it is costing so much. We're eating away the units. Then they have re uh, reinforced them. We have to attack. So we're about to drop into negative wall support. Is anybody going to attack them? But if you were to advance, we're just going to get wiped out, right? There's no way we are winning and advancing more right now. No chance. You can uh, roll into debt. Don't take an essay risk and hope we'll get risk free. Okay, well, we'll hold out then. See how it goes, I guess, right? We are chipping away. We're killing a lot of them, but our war support is now zero. We are killing many of them, though. About three times as many of them we're killing. It's costing us a lot, though. The Great Tango. Wait for the famine to expire. Van Red Living. Okay, yeah. Our standard of living is dropping because we focus so much on war. We just got to hold out right on five speed and see what happens. Our, uh, our country's uh, struggling for everything, but we can't afford to fix it. We're about to burn through our credit as well. And, uh, yeah, it's looking like we need someone to attack Austria. If we don't get that, probably lost, but we tried. And they have much better GDP is plummeting, but that's fine. It'd fix itself after the war. Hmm. We're just going to hope. I think it's, uh, it's pretty impossible. They're still at 6%. We're stuck on zero because they haven't actually um, occupied anything, right? I will support can't be visible zero because they hold their capital and the fallen war goals and not being occupied. So I need to occupy Tuscany and get our capital, right? Otherwise, we're on zero war support as well. well this war could go on for a very long time. The music's just taking the piss. Let's see. <laughs> Our land. It's all just like... I think it's because uh, it's like turmoil and stuff. And no one's happy with us. We're about to burn through our credit as well. <laughs> We're going to have to declare bankruptcy or what? Oh, God. We're stuck on zero, luck. Zero, zero, and that's it. 
So yeah. <laughs> You see the stakes we wanted to get this, and we'd have like a full Italy. But it doesn't look like it's gonna, it's gonna work. It absolutely sucks. Um, hmm. We're just gonna keep it running five speed, right, and see what happens. I think this is impossible. We need someone to jump in straight. The song straight out of Vic 2, is it? Is it actually a song in Vic 2? They did remaster some of them, right? I heard that anyway, they did remaster some songs. <laughs> Absolutely thrilling gameplay, guys. Uh, zero, zero. We're just holding. Oh, they are pushing into us now. Oh, no. They're starting to push us, but they've downed a lot of troops. Oh, they got loads up here as well. Okay, they've split our troops, have they? They like split our troops in the middle. Oh, they'd actually accept a peace deal. A white peace. Will they give us some land? Any land? No, alright. We'll take a white peace then. So yeah, we did actually manage to get a white peace there. Not bad, I don't think. Uh, we, we took the risk though. But yeah, I'm going to probably end this year, guys, to be honest. Uh, we went, went for a good few hours. We mostly formed Italy, which I'm very happy about. I didn't think we'd get this close. But yeah, maybe next stream or next video. If you want to see that, make sure you subscribe. It does mean a lot to me. But maybe we'll play as Wales because... Let me show you. If we play as the, uh, Great Britain... The, what's the way? I did see how to do it and I can't remember how now. There is a way... To basically give Wales their independence. It was an option I did see. Uh, that was set back but could have been worse. Yeah, that wasn't too bad actually. There was a way to actually give them the independence. Hmm. I want to see it just so I know it's definitely a thing. So I would like to play Wales. It could be some fun. Get a get uh, login. Get a sheep, sheep on the go. It's definitely around here somewhere. Hmm, where's it gone? See, it's definitely a thing, and that's why it's the Where is it? In corporate, it change capital. Someone did ask about the change capital thing. That's where that is. I can't find it, but there's definitely a way to um, make them independent. Uh, independent. Yeah, I can't find it right now. Yeah, I'm actually going to end that there then, guys. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. We did do a pretty decent with Italy, I think. There's definitely more we could have done. But yeah, obviously a recess tomorrow. So I hope you all uh, enjoy the game if you do decide to pick up the game. Independence. It was there, was it? Okay, it was there then. Okay, thank you. Oh, yeah, I will sort that out then. Maybe that'll be a next stream. I will do that next time for sure. I think it could be some fun. But yeah, if you do pick up the game tomorrow, I hope you do have uh, some fun on it. I'm definitely interested in picking up the game pretty soon. First game for me is definitely building up Canada and showing those Americans who's boss. Yeah, it all sounds like a lot of fun. Look at Canada right now, killing it. Well, the GDP is not very good. But yeah, thank you all so much for uh, stopping by and watching some uh, Victoria 3 with me. I do appreciate it. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll uh, see you in the